Welcome, guys. I <laughs> see you guys all freaking out in the chat. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay, uh, today we are going to find out the, um, the victim, maybe victims <laughs> of this chapter. I'm uh, excited, but um, also I am... Okay, let me pin this message too. Please, no spoilers. Please... I know it's hard for Danganronpa Rapa fans to not want to spoil things, but please don't spoil. Also, I'm having like crazy like allergies today, so I apologize in advance if I like sound weird or if I have to blow my nose a lot on stream. I like I'm to be totally honest, like I feel fine like otherwise. I'm just having some really weird allergies right now. So just uh, to let you guys know, um, I'll like mute my mic if it's too gross to like blow my nose on screen. <laughs> But um, anyways, yeah, so we're going to find out the victims for this chapter. I Also, I heard that you guys were trying to like pull one over on me last stream because like everybody was like, oh, the victim reveals in like 10 minutes, Weeby, just keep playing. But then uh, some of my mods were looking and they were like, yeah, I think it's like 40 minutes away. So I was like, I know you guys think I'm a pushover and you're right. I am. But still, I was like, I had a feeling, <laughs> I had a feeling people in chat were trying to troll me. Honestly, I would have continued. My voice was just like really hurting. I was doing way too many crazy like laughs and stuff for the characters. I feel like my camera is like a little crazy right now. So let me uh, try to get that fixed. Oh no, man, stupid OBS. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys are having a good day and um, we will see. Um, as for my prediction so far, I don't really have too much to be totally honest. Um, <laughs> I feel like Akane is definitely gonna die. I just like, oh wait, there we go. Hopefully the music's not too abrupt. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully that's good. Y'all can let me know. It's always so loud for me. But anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, as for my predictions, I think Akane is totally dead. <laughs> I don't want her to die, but I think she's gone. I think, uh, you know, rest in peace, queen. You had a good run. <laughs> you had a good run, but, um, that was to my, uh, almost a full year as an Omelander. Oh, thank you, Drew. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Kyoka Maki. Oh, thank you, Maki, for coming by the stream, uh, even though, uh, even though you're dead. That's very, uh, kind of you to still find ways to, uh, <laughs> to come through. If you need some help with mods, I can help. I have played this game dozen of times. Haha, <laughs> love your content. Yes, I would appreciate that. I also always, always need more mods for this because I feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like there's just a, a lot of people in chat that I always see talking about spoilers and stuff. Oh, thank you. Elden Ring stream win. <laughs> oh no. I don't know. I want to try that game so bad. I was just like, I've still been in like my Genshin impact addiction. <laughs> like I keep thinking about trying it, but, um, I just, uh, I don't know, I'm always like, I got my daily resin I have to use. I don't have time for another game. <laughs> like, so, uh, <laughs> so obsessive over Genshin right now. But it would be fun to play Elden Ring. I don't know if I would do it on stream, because I would probably die a lot. And I'm sure it'd be funny, but I feel like it'd probably also get annoying to people watching me. I haven't played, like, a whole lot of the Souls games, so uh, <laughs> it'd be hard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I feel like I should probably try it in my personal time. I know Nico is streaming it, though. He's probably a better person to watch to stream that. But anyways, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I think Akane's dead. <laughs> that was what I was talking about. I don't know, as for the other victim, I don't know, I'm kind of getting victim vibes from, like, Teruya. I think right now I'm supposed to be, like, doing free time events. They said, like, investigating, but then I said, like, morning, so I was like, I think, um, I think, um, <laughs> Maki's the perfect uh, mod because she's a sniper. Yes, Maki, please snipe all the spoilers and just snipe any Mitches in chat if you feel like it. You deserve, <laughs> you deserve to do that, Queen. It's like, maybe not. Maybe is it? Is it supposed to be? Okay, yeah. I was like, that's what I thought. Okay, no. Sorry, Makaru. Let's go sleep. But yeah, I think um, Kane, Tyra, definitely, definitely dead. Maybe Teruya. Um, if not Teruya, I'm trying to think of who else I feel like could die. I don't know. I don't really feel like Hari is going to die. He seems like he's going to make it to the end to me. But he would be the other person on my list. But, nah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it's still a long wait for nighttime. But I think I'm just going to pass out and go into a coma. 
relatable, Yuki. <laughs> so relatable. I slept like a dead man and it became night. I wish you could make an Amori analysis video. I've been thinking about doing that. I need to, uh, I need to finish the Hikikomori route, but I have been planning on doing that. I just feel like I need to finish that route first. So, I don't know, I need to stream it or something. Maybe I'll stream it on Twitch later. I slept like a dead man. I just like being thorough, you know, before I make analysis videos, but now I, I do need to make Amori analysis videos. It's been like on my to-do list for a really long time. I slept like a dead man and it became night. I decided not to go around late at night, so I went to rest in my room. Do you do? Oh, hey. Hey, you're in the thumbnail. I hope Kurokawa doesn't die. I don't think she will die, but we'll see. Oh, Kurokawa. She, like, has been giving me best girl vibes the whole game. Da, 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 da. Did you, did you say to be wary today? Is it all right to move now? Oh, yeah, because this is, like, the day where people always die, right? Yes. <laughs> Never says anything. Oh, thank God, but you came out of your room after a long time. So it's already late this night. I guess you'll have to have to go back in, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, she saw like a video or something that seemed to uh, trigger her, or, like upset her a lot. It kind of seemed like she knew the guy too with the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the um, crap. <laughs> the guy, the guy who was like yearbook we found. I was like, maybe her dad or grandpa or something? I can't remember. Yeah. Are you going to the dormitory? Let's go together. I'm about to go back right now. Yes. Okay. That's awkward. Even though her response has been notable, she's like a kid who doesn't speak any more than she should. <laughs> that's so true. Compared to the general public. Oh, that's right. Hey, Kurokawa, the secret note that was the last motive, that was also that was also a mix of lies, right? Another reason I'm convinced that the ridiculous note that I know the mastermind is a lie. It's because of Kurokawa's notes. No, I actually do like talking a lot. You're the fucking mastermind, Yuki. Oh, uh, right. I'm sorry about opening the note. I was just, like, really curious about it and stuff. I'm totally not sus. Okay, so just forget about that. You probably won't forgive me after saying to stop us. Really sorry. The details don't really matter. Are you sure? Then can you tell me if it's okay? Kuro Kurokawa seems to know best if the note is a lie or not. Um... Well, <laughs> she, like, never says... I love how quiet she is. Well, well, of course, if you don't have to talk, well, of course, you don't have to talk if you don't like it. It's probably a lie if I ask someone else if they know about me. I wouldn't want to talk about it. That note is the truth. Ow. <laughs> Krakawa, what is it? My head, it hurts again. Oh. Oh, don't worry about that. After all, it would be better to take a break in the rooms today. You can go and just knock yourself out into a coma <laughs> like I do every single day. Now let's get in quickly. You don't need to talk today. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have permission to snipe Mitch on site, Weeby? Of course, Maki. Anytime you feel like it. Anytime. It's what he deserves. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation. <laughs> oh, what are they doing? Uh, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Why is someone screaming? Ah! Okay, they're messing with Tyra. Kurokawa! Damn, what happened? I have to check. Okay, are we sure somebody's not gonna die? <laughs> Until for a while? I can't tell. Uh, holy shit! What the? Oh my god. Uh, is that coming from Tyra then? I guess they're like trying to force her. Get out of your room, Tyra! Stop moving around! <laughs> so, I don't know, that's kind of what it seems like. Tyra, what's going on? That is that blood? Blackened? Okay. Maida, Kurokawa, don't be dazed. Tyra, stop. Oh god, is she trying to kill somebody? I don't know. Let me go! Oh god. What happened? Wake up already. Tyra. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god. That's what I was worried about. I'm happy somebody found her in time though. Jesus. Tyra, she slit her wrist with scissors. What? You tried to kill yourself? I'm going to tie a trash like me. Okay, this is all Kenjo's fault. I'm just gonna say, because he was the one who told her that. A trash like me must die. I wanna die. Don't disturb me. Oh, I'm so glad they found her, though. Oh my god. Uh, what kind of strength is this? Let go, Maida! Let go of me! 
Take it easy. Why, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to kill yourself, Tyra? I'm going... Dude, I can't handle this. This is too sad. I'm going to Ayame-chan's side. What? I have to go to Ayame-chan and apologize. I can't just live anymore. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It has been four days already since Atano died. What are you saying? I saw Ayame-chan in the video. Ah, uh, freaking Monokuma. Of course you would do that. I saw Ayame-chan in the video yesterday. Uh, half... <laughs> Monokuma, I hate him so much. Where's that Monokuma plus? I need to freaking punch him in the face. Get my anger out. I saw Yami-chan in the video yesterday. She was blaming me. Yami-chan died because of me. <sighs> freaking Monokuma. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Is she gonna die because she told us the video? They're not, we're not allowed to tell each other the video, right? Isn't that against the rules? <sighs> ah! Hitano appeared in the Desire video? That stupid Monokuma, they're trying to play with us like this. Calm down, Tyra. There's no way Atano blames you. That video was manipulated by Monokuma. He's the biggest douchebag in the world. No, Yame-chan is blaming me. She said that even if I die, she wouldn't forgive me. I have to go to the other side and apologize to Yame-chan. There's no other way! Oh, damn it, it doesn't work no matter what I say to her. She's completely ruined. What should I do in this situation? Maida, move away. Yes, Kurokawa, please. Work your best girl magic. Give her a hug or something. I don't know. <laughs> Aw. Wake up! Oh, really? <laughs> Wake up, Tyra! Don't you know why Hitano died? Hitano's last words? Oh, hey, she is talking now. So this is, this is how we know her uh, note was uh, actually true. The words that she delivered to you. I love this song, dude. Do, do, do. You remember them, right? Last words. I want you to live. For real. Gotta believe her rather than the stupid crap Monokuma feeds you. It's probably like Monokuma in like a wig. <laughs> like in a Hatano wig. Yes, Tyra. I hate you. Yes, I hate you forever. This is a very good impression. <laughs> I want you to live. You did not understand the meaning of those last words she left to you at all? Hitano died to save you, but if you commit the act you're about to do, what do you believe that means to Hitano? Oh man, I hope this really snaps her out of it. I really want her to live. Ah, after talking about this, are you still in conflict? Conflict? What is the kind of person you always were? Tell me, Akane Taira. Tell me. Makako-chan. Akane Taira is not that kind of person. You are. You are so much more, Taira. Oh, I knew you were best girl vibes. Look at her go. Mikako-chan. <gasps> oh. Uh, ah. I mean, her eye looks kind of messed up. Oh, shit. No. Kurokawa. <laughs> All the talking just <laughs> made her pass out. Mikako-chan, what's wrong? Wake up. Why did she collapse? We got to get her out of here. Come to think of it, she said she wasn't feeling well today. Do you think this happened because she was pushing herself again? Anyways, let's move Makako Chan to her private dorm as soon as possible. Okay, Akane seems better though. Oh man, I really hope that, uh, I really hope that, um, helps snap her out of it. Suddenly Kurokawa collapsing. We left Taira behind and we put Kurokawa back on her private bedroom. Oh man. Hey guys. I'm sorry. I guess, oh, I'm so glad she seems to have like... <laughs> I think she seems to have, like, uh, made up. <laughs> or, like, you know, kind of, like, gotten better. Uh, yeah, I was like, I feel like she should probably go see Inori, though, about her wrist. For real. Oh. Jojo, the F H F F. <laughs> hey, Weeby. I recently painfully watched your playthrough of AI, the Somnium Files. Liked it. Are you interested in playing the sequel on the channel in a few months? Yeah, for sure. I definitely will play the sequel whenever I get the chance. It's kind of interesting, too. I think I heard the sequel um, is actually, like... It's not going to have spoilers for the first game, which is kind of uh, interesting. But uh, we'll see. But thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I guess I was out of my mind. How Ayami-chan saved my life. I was trying to throw it away. Exactly. Don't throw it away. She did that for you. That's not enough. I even bothered you guys to... I'm really sorry for being a burden to everyone. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Tyra, because everyone understands your feelings. We love you. That's right. I could have killed my... I could have killed myself too. What? <laughs> hey, you idiot. How is that any comforting? <laughs> it's like, wait, 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 what are you talking about, Satsuki? That was pretty scary. Don't do that again. Hey, what about before? You said we shouldn't say what we saw in our motives. 
is it okay now? I was like, didn't Monokuma say that? Doesn't seem like anything, though. I don't think we should worry too much. Oh, God, I really hope not. That's right. Even so, everyone who isn't here will be happy to see our Corona of Tyra. Oh, God, I hope she doesn't die right after she got better. Yeah, I'm really sorry, and thank you. I don't know, it just feels like a little bit of, like, a death flag. Like, I can't wait for everyone to see how much better Akane's doing, because they totally will see how much better she is doing. And, um, it's already been four days. Maybe it's too late. But I'll try hard again. I hope you can all accept me once again. Yeah, of course, girl, we understand. Of course, no one blames you, so don't worry. Oh, no. This is a school announcement! I was gonna be like, Tyra, get over here! It's time to kill you! You broke the rules! Okay. Oh, time has already slipped by. I'm sorry, I wasted your time your time on me for nothing. No, girl, of course. <laughs> of course we want to help you. You don't need to keep apologizing, okay? It's not like you at all. You were not such a timid girl. I mean, the Akane Tyra that we know is positive, and she always had a bright face, too. Oh, all right. Okay, hey guys, it's already nighttime, so then let's go to bed now. Agreed. I'm a little anxious because of the motives, but we can all gather together tomorrow to talk. Let's call everyone, even Kenjo, our best boy, Makaru, our best girl, and Iwehara, the actual best boy. Yeah, Satsuki's feeling a little sleepy already. Okay, everyone, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if it's good for Akane to see Kenjo. <laughs> He's like literally the guy who was like, yeah, you should just kill yourself. Tyra finally made up her mind. Her guilt and regrets for Tano will not be forgotten in her memory for a lifetime. Still, even so, Tyra is trying to move forward. That kind of action can never be done if you're on your own. But because Tyra is with everyone, she was able to regain her spirit. Yeah. I'm happy that she seems to have gotten better. I'm still, I'm still scared she's gonna die, but we'll see. <laughs> now then, let's go to bed early today. Fortunately, it's not too late because a murder didn't happen after the motive came out as usual. It's not gonna wood, bro. <laughs> Even if it's difficult for tomorrow, we'll all get back to our spirits little by little. I wonder if Kuroka will be all, will be all right. I guess we'll know it at tomorrow's breakfast. Today, yawn. I'm getting sleepy. I hope she doesn't die. I hope Kurokawa doesn't die either. Ugh, I'm scared. Before we parted, I briefly explained to Tyra about Hitano's post-class trial. Let's sleep peacefully tonight. Okay. Alright, about Kurokawa's secret note. Makako Kurokawa may actually be talkative. That kinda seemed like it was true. Aw, she's so cute. Maybe that's... Maybe it is true. I don't know, I'm scared she's gonna die now. <laughs> it's like, I kinda thought she would take over like the best girl position, but Tyra's better now, so I'm like, that kinda makes me think that, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe she will uh, die too. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be one of them, I feel like. Night, I'm relieved that Tyra managed to wake up, wake up herself from her mind. Of course, this is not the end yet. The fact that we are in Hope Speak Academy has not changed. We have to find a way out somehow. Some freaking owl. And with those thoughts, I fell asleep fast. Even though I was unconscious the whole day. Okay, I think it's just Monokuma, right? Hello, you guys! It's morning! Oh, bodies! <laughs> okay, I always get so scared every time it goes off. Yawn, morning. To myself. First, let's go to the dining room. I'll be with them on breakfast this morning. Do you... I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> well, hopefully Tyra will put Kenjo in his place whenever they uh, meet again, but <sighs> freaking Kenjo is going to be like, yeah, you should have done it. Like, he's such a freaking douche. <laughs> Hello. Mida kun hey, you've arrived early. In the dining room, there was a bright Tyra smiling. Oh, thank you, Marmor132. In regards to Elden Ring, hold off. My sleep schedule has been ruined because of it, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> thank you, yeah, I'm really excited to try it. Yeah, like I said, I haven't really played a whole lot of the Souls games, so I'll see if I'm uh, <laughs> if I'm good or if I enjoy it, I guess. I just know they're supposed to be like really challenging. In the dining room, but thanks for the donation, I appreciate it. There was a bright Tyra smiling. Yeah, did you guys sleep well? Maybe it's because Tyra is getting lively again, but I'm feeling way better than yesterday. The best girl has returned. I am always in a happy mood here. Everything's so great here. I love it. I wonder what's up with the others. Sasuke's so out of it, dude. Does she even realize we're in a killing game? <laughs> they haven't come yet. Did Maida Kun come, come too soon? It's 7.10. It's just 7.10. 
Is that so? Then let's wait until we all gather together. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> it's like, somebody else is here at least. Oh boy. It's always hard to wake up early in the morning. Kobashikawa-kun, good morning. Tyra, all oh, right, you feel all better now? Akane Tyra feels like she got a complete resurrection, huh? It's gotta be. Seeing Tyra's bright smile and starting the day like this gives you a lot of energy. Man, I wish this could happen with uh, Taka and Tongan Rumble 1. That made me so sad. That's a complete black heart. I it's not. All I'm saying is that I'm happy my colleague returned to normal is all. The other guys aren't here yet. Yeah, but it's a little bit different. Kanata Chan was always at the restaurant before me. Even the others will be happy to see Tyra smile once again. They're totally not dead. Oh yeah, today I have a suggestion for you guys. I'll say it once again, once everyone comes. Suggestion? Yeah, after breakfast, Kinjo Makaru and Uehara will gather together to discuss with us. A meeting? About what? I don't really like those other guys. Hey, come on, Uehara is a good dude. <laughs> well, when Maki was still alive, Kinjo gathered everyone and made an intermediate report. This time, the motives already come out, came out, so I'd like to gather everyone for opinions. Yeah, I was like, I feel like it would be good just to share all of our motives. Nothing really happened to her, so I think it's probably okay. Oh, I see, Medakun, that's amazing. I recall Kenjo doing these meetings. Oh yeah, I guess, um, I kind of forgot. Taka did do, like, the, the Super Saiyan thing. <laughs> but I was like, I didn't really count that, because, like, once he did the whole Super Saiyan thing, I was like, yeah, no, he's definitely dead. <laughs> I recall Kinjo doing these meetings. I haven't seen that in a hot minute. You definitely don't want to see him. That's because not long ago he was neglected by saying things and no one supported. He's a total psycho. But we can't do that anymore. It's all in the past, isn't it? I mean, we believe in Maida now. Well, it certainly seems that Tyra has regained some vitality in her eyes. Since we have such a bright person like her, it must have conveyed onto everyone that positivity. Anybody else gonna come? By the way, it's getting late for the others. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I was closer to death than I thought. Um, what time is it now? Around 7.30? It's like, who's not here? It's like the two people I thought were going to die are both here. Yeah, Nori's not here. Um, uh, Kakaru's not here. Of course, like, the three loners aren't here. And then Makako's not here. I hope she doesn't die, dude. Is this simply over-worrying? I mean, they're human, so there may be times that this could happen, but... I don't know, I really thought she was gonna live till the end, but it does seem like she has a connection to, like... You know, that guy whose yearbook we found? And I feel like I could see her dying, so we, like, can't learn about it, you know what I mean? Kinda like... I don't know, I feel like Danganronpa does do that a decent bit. What's this anxiety? Let's wait a bit more patiently. I'm sure they'll be here soon! Yeah, okay. Sure, Satsuki. <laughs> Sure. Oh, God. This is not good. No, this is absolutely not over worrying. Even if I'm wrong, something is not right. Everyone in the dining room gradually began to notice that detail. It's getting late. It's already 8 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. What in the world happened? Let's stay still for a moment. Who isn't here yet? Kenjo, Makari, Uehara, Kurokawa, Yamaguchi, and Inori. You don't have to mention Kenjo. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> we don't care if he's dead. It's already 8 a.m. and no one has come yet. Okay. Oh, thank God. At least she's here. I'm sorry for being late. Oh, but I don't want Kenjo to die either. <sighs> Makako-chan, is your health okay? Surely Kenjo won't die. He has to be here to antagonize us all. Yeah, but it's been a while. I was too late. I I'm sorry. Kurokawa, have you seen anyone besides us when you came here? Huh? What happened? Here. Makako-chan, don't you think it's weird? You came this late, but we're the only ones that arrived at the dining room. Oh no! That's a new sprite. Hey, it's okay if we keep waiting like this. Something seems off. Isn't it better if we go and find the others? God, somebody's totally dead, huh? Yeah, I agree. We should look. Yeah, then let's start by looking for Yamaguchi and Inori first. Oh, Jesus. Somehow this feeling... I feel like it's probably them who died. But I don't know. I don't want to be Kinjo or Uihara or Makaru either. I love all three of them so much. It's like... It feels like... It's a feeling that seems like everything is already too late. Yeah, it probably is. 
Oh my god. <laughs> boom, boom. Inori, are you inside? If you are, please answer me. Oh, Jesus. This is weird. Yamaguchi is silent, too. I don't think both of them are in their rooms. Where did they even go at this time? If that's not the dormitory, let's check the school. I think it's best to hurry. Ah! Yeah, Kuroko was right. Guys, let's go find them on the school side. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if we should split up, gang. I tried not to let this anxiety get over myself and decided to stay calm and look for them in the school with everyone. Oh, God. Please, please. I don't know. Since we're all splitting up too, I can see one of these guys also dying like while we're searching, but we'll see, we'll see. I feel like it could like literally be anybody at this point. There seems to be no one on the first floor. I think it'd be better to go the second floor, of course. <laughs> of course, let's just go ahead and check the new place that Monokuma opened up where somebody's definitely probably dead. Okay, Satsuki's here. I heard someone screaming on the second floor. Was Satsuki wrong? Oh God, <laughs> you go do it, Mina. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no! Oh, my God, no! No, 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 no. Okay. There's no, there's no body announcement. There's no body announcement. There's no body announcement. It's okay. But I see my best boy, Kenji, with blood. And I, I'm not having that. That is not going to happen. <laughs> this is not going to freaking fly, okay? Uehara, wake up! Y'all better save him. Y'all better fucking save my boy. Uehara, how did this happen? Mida! I don't really know myself. I came to the second floor and Uehara was down on the floor like this. If a body discovery announcement goes off, I'm gonna freaking flip out. Not my best boy. What's all this? Oh, Uehara, you're dead. He's still breathing. He better fucking be. Okay, okay, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay. Oh, God. Uihara, are you okay? Guys, yassify him quick. We need some eyeliner to put on him. That'll help him. This is what happened to me. Hey, Uihara, what happened to you? Why did you get hurt like this? I was definitely heading to the library at night. Does anybody know what time it is now? It's been roughly, I think it's around 8.15. Uehara-kun, let's wipe the blood first. It seems like this all happened last night then. Here's a handkerchief. Okay, he seems like he's okay now. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, Tyra, it seems you're getting better. Are you okay now? Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks to the others, I made my mind. Made up my mind somehow. We can talk about that later. More importantly, what the hell happened here? Uehara, who did this to you? I'm sorry. I don't know either. I remember walking towards the library at night, but I suddenly felt pain in my head from behind. I can't remember. Okay. That means someone attacked Uehara? Well, I guess, but attacking like this is enough to stun someone. It doesn't mean a kill. It's like, did they already kill somebody? And they're trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to, like, I don't know, like, make sure you didn't see the crime scene before, like, they cleaned it up. I'm not totally sure. Oh, thank you, Maki ate the tissues. I'm not losing another. I know! I was like, especially not our boy Kenji. What will we do without his memes, without him yassifying us? Yeah, this wasn't a kill attempt, but this could mean that a tragedy is about to happen again, or already happened. A motive breaks someone's mind and enforces the worst act to try to commit a murder. Wait, where are the others? Where is Kenjo, Makaru, Inori, and Yamaguchi? Oh, shit. What the... <laughs> what is that? What this sounds like? I heard it on the third floor. Oh, Jesus. The third floor. Something else happened upstairs? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Somebody's doing it right now as we speak. Damn it. What should I do? I haven't properly checked the whole second floor yet, and I'm worried about Uihara's condition. Yeah, screw the others. Just, <laughs> just heal my boy Kenji. You guys, are you looking for the others who didn't arrive at morning's, brec morning's breakfast? Yeah, I'm not sure about Kenjo, but we can't see Inori or Yamaguchi. Yeah, I don't really care about that guy. What happened? Maybe it has something to do with the sound on the third floor. I'll help you guys too. Please let me join your search. Yes, please, Kenji. Please, please join us and be safe, please. But Uehara, aren't you hurt? Will your body handle it? This degree won't be an issue. It's just a slight bump on the back of my head. There's no problem at all? 
Well, you said you didn't see an Ori. In that case, I need an Ori's ability to get the appropriate treatment. So finding her remains the same object. I'm really worried about an Ori. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like, I feel like there's a pretty good chance that she's dead. That's true. Oh my god, guys, maybe we should go upstairs. Kenjo's literally beating Semi to death as we speak. What the hell is that noise? It's terrifying. I don't know what it is, but I think we should move quickly. Then let's divide into two groups. I don't know. One group will investigate the third floor, the other will investigate the second floor. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Oh, whoa. Hey, Weeby, do you think we'll get to the trial today? Happy to see another uh, stream live again. Oh, thank you. Um, we'll probably do the trial next week. I'll probably try to do the whole trial again like I did last time. But uh, if not, then maybe I'll do two streams in a week or something. I don't know if I'll be able to <laughs> stop halfway through the trial <laughs> and wait a week. But um, I think the investigation and like the victim reveal is gonna be pretty long for this. Um, if the stream's a little too short though, we'll probably do like some free time events at the end of it. But uh, likely we'll get to the trial next week. But thanks for the donation, I appreciate it. <clears throat> the others will investigate the second floor. Yeah, I think this would be good. Then I'll stay in the second floor and investigate. I'll stay on the second floor too. I just know there's a fucking dead body up there. I kind of like, I'm kind of like scared of that sound or whatever it is. Then I'll be in the third floor group. Okay, come Kenji. Come save me, protect me, boyfriend, other boyfriend. I'll stay, I'll stay on the second floor because I'm a freaking wuss too. The second floor is wider than the third, so wouldn't it need more people? Then I'll stay, <laughs> is everybody just going to stay on the second floor besides me and Kenji? Then the rest are going to the third floor with me and Uehara. Okay, of course, Makako, also best girl, isn't too scared. Come to the third floor with us. I didn't get to say anything, but I feel pretty determined. They're like, of course, we need more people on the second floor, even though we can hear, like, somebody getting beaten to death upstairs. Well, it doesn't matter. Now, somehow, we have to quickly secure everyone's status on each room and identify who attacked Uehara. Oh my god! If it's decided, let's move. I feel uneasy about something. I just don't know why. Something just feels off, man. I don't know, maybe it's the banging sound and like the skull crushing that I hear coming from upstairs. But whatever, I'm gonna stay down here. If you find the others, come down here and let us know. Be careful, everyone. Okay. I decided to go up to the third floor with Kurakawa and Uehara following along. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Dude, this is so scary. Coming to the third floor, see from, we can see it from here clearly. It's in the art room. It certainly is. It's like somebody, it's like Kinjo just is beating the crap out of like a statue or something. Hey guys, <laughs> what, you thought I was killing someone? <laughs> LOL, <laughs> just kidding. So what are we doing? In addition to the art room, I'll have to do a survey elsewhere. I don't know if we should be splitting up, guys. Then shall we act separately? No! No, no, Kenji, stay with me. I'll take a look into the art room. You guys have a look somewhere else. <sighs> now I'm scared one of you guys are gonna die. I was happy because we we're all gonna be in a group and I was like, they won't die, but now we're splitting up. Why, why must we split up, gang? Why? It doesn't matter, but be careful. Maybe the person who attacked me could be here. <sighs> Please don't die, Kenji. I'm gonna cry if you die. Honestly, I don't want to believe it. That it's one of us, but we already experienced it twice. The people you've been living with, they try to kill each other. I'll be okay. Just gonna check what the sound is. Now then, let's move. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, whoa. What is... Were those holes always there? Um, the original, the origin of the sound is here. It seems that no one has found it. Oh my God, it's happening so much now. Well, let's first find out what that sound is. Oh my God, what the hell is going on? Oh wait, is somebody in a locker? Okay, not in that locker. Uh, oh, okay, those are just the beams above the, <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> It's a cabinet full of miscellaneous art tools, paints, crowns, crayons, and sponges. There's no doubt the loud sound is coming from the inside of the locker. Okay, yeah, somebody definitely got thrown into this locker. The unknown sound and the fear, but more than that, curiosity. I wanted to see what was inside of it, but I'm freaking scared, dude. When I opened the door of the locker, there, please let it be Ken Jones, let it be alive. <gasps> oh, shit. Ah, oh, it's Makaru. Okay, well, I'm happy you're probably gonna serve. Well, I don't even know. I feel like everybody's like potentially gonna die in this chapter. Makaru! 
She was in a state where the usual neat and refined look was off. The hair was loose, the blouse was loose, and the glasses. Oh my god, what the hell did they do to her? Is that all her blood? We're sprawled and her whole body was bound. That loud sound was made by Makaru? Why are you like this? Who did this? It makes sense it was her, because I was like, it has to be somebody like really feisty, <laughs> like making that loud of a sound. That's why I was thinking of Kinjo. Not only that, Makaru is bloody. At first I thought she was like Uehara, but then I looked closely. It looked like this blood wasn't coming from Makaru. It was from a bloody cloth that was buried inside the locker. Okay, so it's from somebody else. What did she see? Did she see what happened? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'll release you now, so don't move too much. Oh, man. What the hell? Makaru, what happened here? Before that, give me your right hand. Uh, okay. Come on, shut up and quickly show me your right hand. Oh. I can't tell why, but I pressed my hand on Makaru's hand without delay. I guess she didn't see who kidnapped her, but she just saw, like, their hand. Makaru took a while, wrapping her right hand with my own, and observing for something. Tch, it's not you either. Makaru, why did you need my right hand? Nothing you need to know. More importantly, incompetent, tell me what time it is, and what's the current situation right now? What, she was incarcerated while being bound by someone, and she's asking about the situation? As if it's normal for her. Well, it is her, so I guess it's not so random. Um, I think it's roughly 8.25 right now. We got together for breakfast, but some few people were unusually late, unusually late, and we began to start looking for them. Apparently your your gang is you, Akane Taira, Haru, Teruya, Satsuki, Makako, Kanada, and Kakaru, was it? Yeah, but not all of them were there. Who else was missing? In the group, we were having breakfast, but Inori and Yamaguchi were missing. And then we found Uehara on the second floor. Kinjo is also still missing. Hum, the doctor and the lawyer. Also, if I may ask, Makaru, what happened to you? I never expected you to be in such a situation. Shut up and forget everything you saw. It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, it was definitely my fault. I didn't realize I was going to be targeted so suddenly. You were attacked by who? Well, you'll soon find out who it is. The one who dared to touch me. I'll leave them with the greatest regret in their life. I don't think she knows either. And what's this bloody locker about? This blood isn't from you, right? You don't know? Hey, we don't have the time to be chatting. When I heard the situation from you, I believe this is the very climax moment. I'm going to investigate. Yeah, we need to get out and try to figure out what's going on. Makari, wait a minute! <laughs> okay. Damn it, what the hell is going on? Well, at least I have confirmed that Makaru is safe. So let's go find the others. Oh my god, I don't want Kinjo to die. I know he's an asshole, but I love him, okay? Makaru, hang on a second. Huh, what else do you want? I don't, I don't have the luxury to talk to you right now, you hear me? Can't you figure out the situation already? That's not it, I just wanted to know what Makaru was doing last night. Well, I know how stupid you are, but if you don't feel sorry for your friend's life, then you don't mind running around and talking to me right now. Uh, what does that mean? A life? I would... No way. She know who, uh, who got hit there? Or who, like, it was the target, I guess? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I wish she would tell us more if she knows something. It was uncertain in my voice, but in my mind, I fully understood word by word. Uehara being attacked by someone. Makaru imprisoned. In a bloody locker, the puzzle was completed with all the conditions to set up the worst possible outcome. And right after that... Oh, shit. What was that? What is this? Someone scream? Oh, Makako. Holy, she's okay. Maida! Makaru, I, I found one! Oh, no! Oh, no! Kurokawa! Hum, it seems you encountered some problems. Definitely. Please, help me to the science lab. You need my help? Why in the science lab? Looks like something happened. Somebody's fucking dead. Since it's an emergency, I'll help you out. Move. Yeah. Oh, God. Kurokawa's complexion didn't look so good. And that made me even more anxious. I really wonder what's going on. Ah, no. Please, 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 please. Okay, at least Kenji's here. Okay. What's happening in the science lab? Could it be related to that scream earlier? Mighty, you're here. Looks like you found Makaru too. 
I want to ask about what happened. About the sound, but for now we have a bigger issue on our hands. Also, as you may have guessed, Kurokawa went to, to the casino and I tried to investigate the science lab, but the door wouldn't open. Yeah, totally dead body. Please don't let it be Kenjo. Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please don't let it be Kenjo. And then I see in the chat, please let it be Kenjo. <laughs> the dynamic. <laughs> it was like, a, there's two types of people in this world. The science lab, but the other door wouldn't open. I heard a scream in the science lab while trying to open the door. Nida, help us here. Oh, God. The four of us joined first forces and pushed the door of the science lab. But it didn't even budge. It felt different from simply being locked with a padlock. It was as if something was blocking the door. <sighs> I can't. It's not moving at all. Well, what do we do now? Should we go back with the others? To the second floor. But we heard a scream in here. Are we going to just leave it at that? We can't just give up. Okay, so it seems like the scream was... um. Uh, I was thinking it was gonna be uh, Makako, but I guess it was coming actually from somebody who was like being murdered or something. I don't know. Maybe somebody else found a body. I'm not really sure. Um. Yep. Another scream. Who? Who is it? What's going on in there? It's like a male scream. That sound. Can you hear it? I feel like they have like a female scream that they've used before. I wonder if it's Kakuru then. When I listened to Kurokawa's words and focused on the sounds the science lab made, I heard a strange and unusual sound. This is a water sound, isn't it? Water, it sounds like something is flowing when I hear it. Well, what do we do if the door doesn't open? It's all in vain? Hey, come here for a moment, you minute, you people. Can we break the glass? Wouldn't that be something we could try to do? Makaru pointed and looked closely at the blurry window on the door of the science lab. You stupid fools, the sliding door is blocked with something from the inside. It'll never open, yeah. I thought it was weird, but I also thought that something was wrong. How's the killer gonna get out of there? I was like, I don't understand. They blocked it with something. Are you saying the inside is closed? But then it would be even more difficult to open the door. That's not gonna happen. There we go. Makari, as Makari said that, she raised her elbow to the door of the science lab to break the window. Okay, at least somebody's smart. Makari, are you sure you can do that? Is that not considered vandalism? It's okay, the vandalism is caused by force majeure, which involves the incident. In Monokuma's eyes, that is. Smart. As she said that, she put her arm inside the broken window, shoving the thing that was blocking the door. Can't you do something simple as this, incompetent ones? I thought that was my nickname. Now it's unlocked. Open it. You're gonna call them incompetent too? Okay. <laughs> like Makari said, the door to the science lab opened with a sound. <sighs> I don't want to see the I'm so scared. I feel like it might. I feel like it's probably gonna be a Nori or Kakaroo, but I don't know if it's just because I'm such a Kenjo stan. The first thing we discovered was... Oh, water. What is this, water? I was wondering if they were like overflowing the room with water, but why? <laughs> when I opened the door to the science lab, a lot of water flowed from the inside. The inside was full of water and when we entered the room, it was in a watery state, so that at least your ankles were submerged. Were they trying to, like, drown somebody? How would they even do that, though? I don't know. The water in the science lab is... What the, what the hell is going on? When we're... When we're trying to check the state of the room... <gasps> don't go in! Stay away from the water! <sighs> I'm so scared! Wait, is it not water? Makara shouted urgently in a serious mood and I unknowingly stood up away from the water pit in the science lab. Why, Makaru? Is something I like chemical or something instead? <gasps> oh, or electrocution? I saw somebody saying that. Oh, that'd be freaking crazy. Why, Makaru? Is this how they ended up? If you're curious, look inside the science lab. Oh no, you'll understand what I mean. Makaru's voice sunk like it was subdued. When Makaru, who is usually hard to beat, makes a voice like this, it can only mean... <sighs> when she witnessed someone's death. They really drowned them then? Or maybe they did electrocute them. I could see that being the case too. 
Oh no, I'm so scared. Being careful not to, to be touching the water pit quietly, I move my gaze into the science lab. The scenery that came into my view from there, I was so freaking nervous. It was horrifying. It was utter despair. Please. Who? What the? <gasps> She looks so... Her body is tied up and burns out. The body of Kanata and Nori, the ultimate... What the fuck did they... They burn her? I can't even tell. Oh, my God. Somebody said she died crying. Oh, my God. Electric... What the fuck is wrong with this person? Oh, my God. I'm not going to forgive whoever did this shit. There cannot be a good excuse. Her whole body is tied up and burned out. The body of Kanata and Nori, the... Who the fuck would do this? She was so sweet. The ultimate surgeon. It was an unbelievable despair. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so bad for her. Oh my god. This is a lie, right? Why? Why is Anori? Why is she... I couldn't accept the scene that was in front of my eyes, but soon I was able to face reality by... Since it's like a grilled squid, but that smell was even more nauseous. It smells like burning flesh. Yeah, they totally electrocuted her. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm like, only thinking it could be Kenjo to do this. I'm like, who's fucked up enough to do this? It's like Kenjo. Oh my god. Ugh, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, Nori. Holy shit, it felt like a dream scene. I didn't think it could be worse than Kazuna, but oh my god. Because Inori, who was smiling brightly with us until yesterday and talking to us, became like this. Inori, who was so kind, she was really one of the like, one of the nicest people. As a doctor, Inori who worked very hard to take care of everyone's health. It was then that the sound reminded me that this was our reality. Was that her then screaming? That we heard? A body has been discovered! After time has passed, the trial will begin! But don't worry, it's the third chapter! So I'm sure you're gonna find another one! <laughs> Thank you, Maki. It's on site. Whoever did this to Kanata, for real! For real! I blame Mitch. It was probably Mitch again. <laughs> it was probably. I know, it's so fucked up, though. She's like the sweetest. She's like definitely one of the sweetest characters. It makes sense that somebody would want to target her because she's like the best person to do like a biopsy and stuff. But like, man, do they have to kill her that badly? Like, it's so freaking messed up. The body discovery announcement. That means there's zero possibility that she's... I mean, I don't know if I really need the body discovery announcement to tell me that. Kanata Nori is dead. Why? Why? Who the hell would do this? Why, you ask? It's only natural. I don't know who yet, but there's a person who wants to get out of here by any means. This is nonsense. Leaving us so suddenly. There wasn't even time to save her. I'm really sorry, Inori. Aww. Even so, the body was found. Why don't we start searching? We need to prepare. Oh my god. Prepare a search. We still gotta find Kinjo and uh, Yamaguchi, though, too. It's starting again. A class trial. That's right. We have to face this terrible despair once again. If we cannot identify the culprit who killed Inori, then we will all face punishment due to the class trial's reckless rules. Did you mention that the rest of the people... Did you mention that the rest of the people are downstairs? They must have heard the BDA. I'm like... I don't know. I'm a little nervous about the people downstairs, too. I guess we'll see, because it's like... It's the third chapter, you know? It's chapter number three. 
I feel like there might be a body downstairs somewhere too, but we'll see. If you don't want to die, get ready to investigate. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no time to even be sad. It was the same when Maki and Tamori died. Once again, we have to overcome sadness. We must overcome despair. However, this despair would not, not end with this. Chapter three, baby. C5, it was no ordinary despair. <laughs> oh my god, another one. That's so freaking crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, I bet there is another one downstairs, huh? After a certain amount of time, a class trial will begin. <laughs> yep, good old chapter three, baby. What? Um, huh? What? That was, wasn't it a BDA again? No, something is wrong, right? Inori's BDA just rang, right? Why is there another announcement? There's only one thing I can think of. This is quite unprecedented. Come on, haven't you guys watched the other 53 seasons of Danganronpa? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? There's always two people in chapter three. Oh, Makako is really taking, oh no! She's taking it hard, dude. Kurokawa? I have a bad feeling. We should join the others on the second floor. Is it gonna be some of the people missing or is it gonna be some of the people we left? That's, I don't know, that's the question. What happened? I may already know, but until I check it out with my own eyes, I won't believe it. There's just no freaking way. Such a worse situation could never happen. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> somebody went wild. Somebody went wild in last night. It would be interesting if there was two killers. I don't know if we really had that. Yeah, I don't think we ever had that in um, a different, um, uh, whatchamacallit, in like a canon dog and rampa game. That would be interesting if there was actually two killers, because I think, yeah, it's like only one of them gets blackened if that's the case. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, somebody went wild in the library last night. Tyra, a Tori? Made a coon. What's going on? What happened to you? That's blood. It's hard to know, like, would this all be by the same person? It's kind of hard to tell. Tyra and Atori appeared astonished in front of the library as they stood there. The front of the library was covered in blood, a huge amount of it, and the bloody locker I saw in the art room all started to overlap in my head. Obviously, Inori didn't have any noticeable trauma. The BDA rang twice. Tyra's party hasn't seen Inori's body yet. I am so appalled. To me, he was desperate to know. Tyra quietly pointed at the library with a finger. Oh no, 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 please, please, no, don't let it be Kejo, but I'm just memeing on him. Quietly breathing deeply as to not indulge reason in my mind and opening the door to the library, no matter what I see in here, I have to prepare to open the door and what I saw on the other side was oh my god i feel like he's dead i don't want him to be dead though <laughs> i don't know without betraying my expectations a despair in the library greeted me i'm so scared wait, wait, wait. oh no it is ah oh, it's kakaru oh shit ah oh, man they hang him ah oh, man oh why did they kill the nicest people <laughs> what is wrong with this person Lying in a pool of blood as the body of the ultimate liar was the body of the ultimate liar, Kakaru Yamaguchi, greeting me. Aw, oh, man. He couldn't even make it to the fourth chapter. Uh, I know. I was thinking that. I was like, is he beheaded? It kind of, like, almost looks like it. I was like, I don't know if they, like... I don't know. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. There's a lot of blood, too. So it definitely seems like a throat cut of some sort. Duh. Duh, Maida? Maida Coon, wake up! Oh, you're gonna help me? You're gonna help me, girl? Tyra? I think I've lost consciousness for a while. That was because of watching so many shocking scenes back and forth. I was in front of Yamaguchi's dead body in the library, and there was Tyra in between. Hey, what's the situation right now? I was worried because Maida Coon found Yamaguchi's body, and you went silent. Sorry. Maida-kun's party, who went to the third floor to investigate, came back and found 
Yamaguchi's corpse, and now everyone else went to the infirmary to take care of Uihara and Kenjo kun. Kenjo? Oh, wait. Ah, no, I didn't get to read it. No, I skipped it too fast. Kenjo? Ah, wait. Uh, sorry. Found. You tried to read here. I'm just going to now everyone to take care of Kenjo. Ah, come on. And Kenjo, okay, just said Kenjo kun. Kenjo kun, what's wrong with him? Okay, that's all I missed. Okay, I was like, wait, what happened? What freaking happened to my boy? <laughs> the worst boy who's also the best boy. Oh uh, yeah, I'll explain what happened. Our investigation on the second floor, our team found a pit of blood in front of the library while investigating the power room. Okay, pit of blood in the power, and the power room too, the training room as well, etc. I went into the library, but Yamaguchi-kun and Kenjo-kun were both covered in blood and, oh, oh my, they tried to kill him too? What is, what is wrong with this person? It's gotta be like one of us, right? Even Kenjo was covered in blood? Yeah, at first I was surprised. I feared they'd both died because the BDA rang twice and I thought Kenjo died as well and he was treated as a corpse count. That's not right. Another BDA rang because we discovered another body found by us. Oh. No, no, it's gotta be, it's gotta be that Honori survived. She looked like she probably survived. Okay, I shouldn't joke about that. Oh man, that is confusing though. So Kenjo probably is alive. Then. I guess I haven't really seen his body, but yeah, I was like, there was no way Nori lived through that, man. I heard they were talking about Kanata-chan. It's all too painful to lose so many friends in a single night. Yeah. But we can't grieve now. I haven't started my investigation yet, but I'll come back to talk about it at the class trial soon. So let's do our best, Maida kun We don't know who it is, but there's probably one of us who killed two of our friends. I couldn't even look at the body due to the shock of the death of Inori and Yamaguchi. And Tyra's eyes seemed full of solid determination, even though it was mixed with sadness. Tyra, you've gotten stronger. Huh? It's the same for all of you. You have to overcome the death of our friends. You guys are stronger. I'm so glad she's, she's doing good though, okay? She seems like... She's really improved. I like was so sure she was gonna die. This chapter, I'm so surprised she made it. Like even when she got better, I was like, still eyeing her. Like, I don't know. It seems like, it seems like she might still die, but I'm glad she made it. But man, I mean, the other two characters who died were like two of the sweetest characters in the game. You know, it's like, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Bro, Kyra, electric boogaloo, no, too soon, too soon soon, okay? And me. You guys are stronger than me, where I am just shocked and trembling, Tyra. No, I'm not strong. That's a lie. But what was said to me yesterday from Makako-chan made me realize what I had to do. I was saved by, by Ayami-chan in exchange for her life, right? So I vowed that no matter what, I wouldn't die here. Aw, good girl. To be sure to survive here and to repay Ayami's wish. Tyra. That is what she would want. Oh, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean I'll go killing. It means that it means I want to escape with everyone together. It better, dude. You better not turn out to be a killer. I'll flip out. I know. Don't worry. However, surprisingly, while talking with Tyra, it seems my worries have calmed down a little. It feels like she could really get out of here someday if she worked together with us. I felt the same way. Oh, man. Yeah, by the way, everyone's late. You said they were treating Uehara and Kenjo. Uehara was fortunate enough that it was a light wound, but what about Kenjo? I didn't see him. That's... I'm not sure. He wasn't conscious, even after being taken into the infirmary. Oh my god, this person just went on like a freaking killing rampage. I guess they were trying to take out the people they thought would be like the biggest threat besides like, uh, I don't know, besides Maida. Cause like Kenjo is pretty smart with the trials. Makari was smart with the trials. So is Uehara. They were just like, I'm gonna kill everybody except for like Haru and, uh, <laughs> and Teruya. Then I'll definitely get away with it. That's, I'm not sure. He was unconscious even after being taken to the infirmary. What? It looks like he got a big head wound. Besides, in this case, we had to take... I wonder if he's going to be good enough to go to the trial. The role of Kanata-chan. I feel like he knows who did it. He's probably not going to be able to attend the trial, if I had to guess. The role of Kanata-chan and apply the first aid by yourselves. This is a bad enough situation as it is. Jesus, who did this? I'm trying to think out of the people, like, around. 
Oh no, please don't let it be Kenji. He did get like the least severe wound though. So I feel like out of the people who were attacked, he's like the most um, suspicious. Cause I don't think Makaru could like, you know, wrap herself up and all that. Like, I mean, maybe she could. I was like, I feel like it'd be pretty hard to lock yourself in a locker and like tie yourself up, you know? But I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh, they're here. Hey, uh, are you okay now, Maida? You looked pretty bad. Ah, uh, yeah, somehow. By the way, did you all know about the BDAs? Not only Yamaguchi in the library, but Anori on the third floor was also dead. This is too cruel, poor girl. It is regrettable, but what has already happened is irreversible, so we have no choice in the matter. We have to find the killer in order to, lead, to live. Oh, where's Kinjo-kun? Uehara-kun seems to be fine now. Kinjo is still in a coma. There's no sign of him waking up, so we gave the first aid and put him on the infirmary, infirmary bed. I'm worried. But was the first aid effective? I thought it would be difficult because Inori was missing. Well, to be so specific, I didn't do anything and Atori was the one who applied it. Oh. I couldn't do it either, so I just organized the supplies and handed him over the first aid kit. How'd you do, Atori? That's a little surprising, Atori-kun. You have more talent than we thought you had. I can't tell if that's a compliment or an insult. It's a backhanded compliment. Well, I've also sold medical products in the first place, so yeah, I have the knowledge. Okay, that's good that we have something. <laughs> yeah, Kenji is kind of too chill right now. I'm a little worried, but I feel like he might be my prime suspect, because like, I don't know. I mean, most of these other guys, I don't feel like they're bloodthirsty enough to go on this like killing rampage. And like, we don't know that much about Kenji besides the memes that we make up about him. I don't know, it just seems like that's the most easy injury to like fake, you know what I mean? To like get suspicion away from you. But compared to Anori, it's not even close. Yeah, for real. Two friends have died and we have no choice but to investigate this. Some try to lighten up the mood more than usual to get as much energy as possible. Thanks to it, the situation seemed to improve, however little it could. Ah, everyone seems to have gathered, so it's okay to show up. Oh, it's everyone's idol, Monokuma friends, Mono Mono. Move aside, BTS. It is I. I am the new pop sensation. I really want to hit this bear real hard. Do it. You finally showed up, Monokuma. Why are you so late? Oh, boo! Sorry, I tried to show up right away and give it to you, but you guys made things even more complex. Are you trying to give it? Yes, the body was found, you know? Two of them, too. Man, this killer is freaking crazy! The Monokuma file 3-1 should not be given. 3 minus 1? This time, there are two victims in particular, so I prepared two Monokuma files! 3-1 belongs to Yamaguchi, and 3-2 belongs to Miss Inori. Hey, does that number mean anything? For example, order of death. Oh. What? How did you guess that? God dang it, I should have labeled these differently. <laughs> it would be fun. It would be fun to say that, but it's not really in that sense. So don't look into it. The number attached to the Monokuma file is based on all the members gathered. And it's only one because all the members are gathered in the current library. Okay. Ah, not all of them. Not all of them because Super Cop is missing. Kenjo Kun is on a trip to Dreamland, so he can't help it, sadly. Aw, oh, poor little Kenjo Kun. What the? This toy is making the mood brighter for no reason. It is unfortunate that a murder happened in the morning, but that's why it burns more. Isn't that right? Now then, I'll be going. I'll be going on ahead and leave the next Monokuma file next to the other body. I hope you will do your best for your sacrificed friends. Ooh. Now, wait a minute. Even so, don't you think it's too much to say that the culprit killed two people? Huh? If a, cul if a culprit murders this way, there could be many victims in the future if they commit three, three or four murders. Three or the murders? Three or four murders, we will all die. And that sounds like it. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, this guy's freaking bloodthirsty. They're gonna try to kill somebody else. I'm just gonna try to kill everybody <laughs> during this uh, chapter. Then nobody will be here to solve it. And that's what I want to ask too. The situation was quite unexpected for me too. It would be interesting if there was uh, two killers, but we'll see. If slaughter is allowed as a rule, a crazy person can continue to commit serial killings, right? Um, uh, that's the point, huh? I never really thought about that. <laughs> Shit. 
You, that's crazy. You're completely irresponsible. Does it really matter? Serial murder is an event that can't be left out of the mystery, right? Blocking is such thrilling and heart-pounding events is a sin, too. What? That doesn't matter at all. Just being exposed to the horror of murder makes someone crazy enough. But now you can be a serial murderer? All right, all right. Then allotted to the school rules. It is forbidden to kill another person after investigation has taken place. And there can be only up to two people the black end can kill. Now are we done yet? You should erase the up to two people. It already happened, okay? It can't be helped because this killer has already killed Yamaguchi and Mizunori. So two people are fine. Serial killing is so much fun that it can't be missed. <laughs> that is so true. How do you... How much do you like serial killings? This means that it was the same person who killed Kakuru Yamaguchi and Kanata Inori. Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. What do you mean? What I mean is Criminal A kills Kakuru Yamaguchi and Criminal B kills Kanata and Nori. However, looking at Monokuma's words, that possibility disappeared. Ah, oh, man, I kinda wanted there to be two killers. Man, maybe next game. Yes, well, it looks so novel and interesting. Unfortunately, I can't allow that. Even if two cases happen at the same time, if the person who committed the first murder comes out, I will personally stop the second one myself. Uh, okay, so, uh... I guess it's just in canon Danganronpa that uh, it can allow two people. Well, even if there are two criminals, there wouldn't be just one or two difficulties in the class trial. The overlapping object of murder coverage is to zero in the first place. Ah, uh, whatever! You would ask me to do something about... But what can you do? In the end, this is the game! The people who play it would have to be blown the hell out of it! So this is how it really goes! You guys, please do your research! See you at the class trial! <laughs> Eventually, as usual, Monokuma only said what it needed to say and disappeared. As Monokuma disappeared, there was a moment of silence in the library. Hey, you guys, I heard it earlier. You said that Tsurugi Kinjo was in a coma. Huh? Yeah. He's on the bed in the infirmary. I want to see how he's doing. So what about Kinjo-kun if he can't wake up for the class trial like this? I think Monokuma will handle that. It is a bit painful that a brain like Kinjo couldn't investigate and proceed to the trial. I was like, that was totally on freaking purpose, wasn't it? Idiots, you will soon come to the realization of you of you all who only depended on that psycho cop. <laughs> hey, come on, I do a lot of solving in the class trial too. But we'll show you we can handle it. I severely doubt that. Is that right? Me and you guys have fundamentally different ways of thinking. See, I actually think you guys don't. And what do you mean? As evidence of that, I have already completed the investigation of the library and about the body of Kakuru Yamaguchi. <laughs> As for you guys, you only went to the infirmary. So what did you do? Uh, so what, are you trying to brag about it? I already know all the evidence I need to collect. I just scanned the room with my eyes really quickly. Oh, I'm worried about you getting in my way, criminal. I don't know who you are, but you think you're pretty intelligent, aren't you? Aiming for, aiming for Surugi Kenjo. Now then, you better try your best. I'm going to the science lab, so don't disturb me. <laughs> okay, girl boss. Makaru left the library and we nodded, facing each other. Everyone is the same with the pain of losing two of our friends. However, as always, you have to overcome it. If the criminal is uncovered in the class trial and survives the situation, we won't have to face... And if we survive the situation, we won't have to face the same end. It is natural that I want to sit down and feel sorry, but I have already experienced it twice. Again, we have to overcome it. Because I have no choice but to... Because it must be done. We have to stay determined. Oh, man. Freaking A, dude. Investigation. Ah, First, let's summarize the basis for this case. This time, unlike the previous two incidents, there are two victims, and the places where the bodies were found were also with quite the distance. The library on the second floor and the science room on the third floor. Overall, there is a need for large-scale investigations going back and forth between the second and third floors. I'm trying to think. I wonder, like, what that loud noise was then that we were hearing from downstairs. Oh, no, yeah, it was the locker. Never mind. It was the locker that we were hearing because that was Makaru. So I was like, was that having to do with Inori? I guess not. We did hear something else, though. We heard, like, screams, I think, with Inori. I'll have to go back and, like, rewatch everything to try to get, like, the time frame, but it did probably, if I had to guess, I'd say that Kakaru died first, maybe? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Overall, there is a need for large-scale investigations going back and forth between the second and third floors. About tools, I don't know yet. 
But as previous experience, the killer may have procured tools, etc. from different places. As Makari said, Kinjo is, Kinjo is a very... Kinjo is very helpful in cases. It's embarrassing. <laughs> God, what are we gonna do without him? Even if you ask Makario, I don't think she would answer any questions to us. Now I shouldn't give up just because we don't have Kinjo with us. We may wake up. He may wake up soon. And we must do everything we can without Kinjo. The investigation radius has been roughly organized. Then, as always, let's begin with the Monokuma files. Can I turn off the air really quickly? My uh, my room's getting kind of cold. Doo -doo -doo. Oh man, thankfully I haven't had to sneeze too much this uh, stream. I'm glad about that. <laughs> the estimated time of death of the victim, Kakar Yamaguchi, is about 8.40, found in the library. Okay, so 8.40. I was kind of wondering if this stuff happened like last night, but it seems like it happened in the morning, I guess. So I assumed it was last night. I guess, yeah, if it was last night, the blood probably would have dried, right? With a sharp cut of the back of the neck to the uvula. The weapon is presumed to be something sharp, with no other visible trauma. Aw, oh, poor Kakaroo, dude. He was such a good boy. <laughs> he used to do this little, when he would do his little, like, cute hand thing. <sighs> As usual, although it is a Monokuma file with so little information, at the time of death is 8.40, it was right after we found Inori's body. If so, Inori died before Yamaguchi. <laughs> you were totally wrong, Weeby. As it turns out, the Inori was still screaming faintly when we were standing at the door. Okay, yeah, so we were hearing her screaming, and she died before Yamaguchi. So I'm like trying to think. Would that give Kenji a, wait, would that give him an alibi? He's honestly the one I'm like the most suspicious of. I don't want to suspect him because I love him. He's my boy, <laughs> he's my he's my queen, but I don't know. He's definitely the most suspicious, but he would have an alibi if that's the case of the science lab, which proves that she was alive until then. And this means, Inori and Yamaguchi were killed almost simultaneously in real time. It makes sense they were murdered. I guess if they, if he set it up some way, it wouldn't matter though. <laughs> we be being wrong again. <laughs> hey, that is so not me. <laughs> I'm just pretending to be wrong to make you guys feel better, you know? To, just so I can't like expose how big my brain is, you know? <laughs> no, hold on. Isn't that a little strange? When we opened the door of the science lab, only a large amount of water flowed out of the corridor, and there was no other person in it. I was like, how the hell did they do that? Remotely murdered, was it? I guess, yeah, alibis night might not really make a difference if they were both, or, you know, Inori was remotely... Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, if Inori was remotely murdered, but would Kakari be able to be remotely murdered? It doesn't really seem <laughs> possible, but I guess we'll investigate and find out. I haven't seen Inori's Monokuma file yet, so I won't be able to confirm it for sure, but... Yamaguchi's intake is said to be something sharp, and there is a cut deep enough to cut the entire neck. I can't, I can think, I can think this kind of wound would be done, but can this kind of wound be done remotely? Yeah. But if this is what's called a real-time murder, maybe there's a possibility that someone who was investigating the second floor pretended to find the body after killing Yamaguchi on the spot. Because yeah, I was like, that makes it seems like, that makes it seem like it was somebody on the second floor. I hate to say it too, but I don't like, I don't know. I don't want to suspect Makako, but she seems to be like the smartest out of the people on the second floor. So I feel like I suspect her the most out of them. It's like surely it wouldn't be Akane, right? Even if this kind of, even with this kind of suspicion, I'm so rotten. I guess she also got kind of like a, you know, a weird like motive video, but she seems really sweet. So it's like, I don't want to like believe that, but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Even with this kind of suspicion, I'm so rotten, but this is not a joke, uh, so I have to rule out any kinds of scenarios. It was this kind of wound, and there is no other trauma involved, so it seems that this must have been an immediate death. Yeah. At least I didn't have to suffer like freaking poor Nori, dude. This is what I can infer from the Monokuma file so far. Well, for now, let's search the library and the science lab, focusing on the Monokuma file. And if we talk to the others, I might discover something too. Monokuma file, three, one. New school rule has been added! Oh, yay! I should probably think of this shit beforehand, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Good old Monokuma. Okay, let's get this part over with. Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi's corpse stretches out loosely on the floor of the library. In contrast to his sloppy body, it was droopy. His pupils were loose. Oh, man, he felt empty. 
This is a man's, oh God, just the idea of like, I don't know, his eyes being loose and stuff. Oh, it freaks me out. This is all Mitch's fault. I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> this is a man's death. I've seen it many times already. Real people dying. Man. Yamaguchi, you were the one, the one who we talked to just yesterday. Man, he's the first buff guy not to make it to chapter four. <sighs> There's no time to be sad. Even for Yamaguchi, we must find out who made him like this. I've decided to investigate Yamaguchi's body. I felt something hard and cold. According to the Monokuma file, it said that he was cut off by something sharp. Indeed, there was a terrible wound that I could see it with my eyes open. Yamaguchi's neck was completely cut out from the back neck to the front. Back damn. But it was surprising that it wasn't cut completely, but barely a piece of flesh. I don't know, it's like, would you really die quickly from that? I feel like bleeding out would like, I don't know. I feel like that would take a while. But barely a piece of flesh was left to tell. Oh, <laughs> kill it. He's so sweet too. I'm so sad. I put up with the nausea that came up and looked at the wound. I've heard that the injured area is gravenous torn by something like a knife or a tool that's usually roughened, but in Yamaguchi's case, it was cut neatly, n cut neatly, as if you were cutting paper with a cutter knife. It's like, I feel like we should check the kitchen for knives again. We were all there though for a while, so they would have had to have gotten the knife like pretty early if that is the case. Ugh, I can't see anymore. It's so terrible. Poor Yamaguchi, spilling a lot of blood like Tamori. Huh? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like kind of similar to Tamori. I don't know. Ugh, gosh, I can't tell. Yeah, it said he died quickly. I hope so for his case. As my stomach was shaking inside, I suddenly felt uncomfortable. Surely blood in the library is no joke. It ran from the corridor to the body of Yamaguchi and it was also protruding from Yamaguchi's body. It's like, how did Makaru get covered in his blood too? Wouldn't that mean, oh man, okay wait. I'm so confused now. Oh, okay, I'll have to think about this later, but I'm so confused now thinking about this because like Makari was covered in a bunch of blood and I'm assuming that's from him, but they're saying that he died second, you know, unless like he was cut and like he didn't die die until after uh, Inori's death. But that was kind of one of the main reasons why I was thinking he would have died first since like he died like, you know, maybe like last night, you know, the killer, I don't know, somehow, Ray ended up there and got covered in his blood and got put in the locker and then Inori died later. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Linking at the Monokuma file, it said that there were no other visible traumas other than a neck wound. This is a tremendous amount of blood flowing from the neck only. Yamaguchi's time of death is 840. From this wound, immediate death is certain. So even if the wound started bleeding from then, it is not yet past even an hour, but why is the blood no longer flowing out from his throat? I don't know. The immediate death thing is really throwing me off. I'm not totally sure if uh, that is a thing. If only it was a contusion of the octopus. That would that would help me a lot more <laughs> to figure out what's going on. When I recall the words of Inori, who is no longer here, it seems that after the heart stops, blood circulation also stops. Yeah, we don't have Inori either to help us with this stuff. If so, in this case of immediate death, the blood should flow even less. But isn't it too early? In a similar case, when I investigated Tamori's corpse, there was a little blood coming out from her. However, in contrast, Yamaguchi's body looked very dry. Okay, so he was killed first, right? So you guys are wrong <laughs> about the death order, right? Okay. It's been less than an hour since blood is spilled, but the blood already dried up? Yeah, I don't fully, I don't know. I still think he died first. I feel like it was like last night or something. I knew something was wrong, but there was no way to think about it anymore because there wasn't an Ori or Kinjo who had a professional insight on these moments. God, we're so useless without them. Where's my boyfriend and a Nori? And Ori can't speak to us anymore, but Kinjo is still alive. I should ask him if he wakes up. I'm never waking up, Yuki. Okay. It's a huge blood trace from Yamaguchi's body to the library door. Was this all Yamaguchi's blood? Um, there's something wrong with this. It's a terrible amount to look at, but I've seen a situation similar to this. It was dark back then, so I couldn't see well. Tamori shed such tremendous, shed such a tremendous amount of blood and died. And I was like, why is it going all the way down there? Did they like drag him? 
I am so confused. <laughs> However, there were more of Yamaguchi's in terms of quantity because this blood leads all the way to the corridor. Unless it's just like slope like that, but I don't really think that makes sense. There's also this. In Tamori's case, there were two wounds on the neck and another in the stomach. It was also discovered several hours after death, so it was already bleeding. Less than an hour after death. And no matter how deeply you were injured, can this amount of blood come out of your neck? That's what I was thinking too, dude. I was like, is some of this Kenjo's blood? Not only that, I feel like that's gonna be a really big piece of this like puzzle too, you know? Not only that, the shape of the blood is also a little strange. This shape looks as if the body of Yamaguchi was brought into the library from the outside. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. I'll check this out for a bit. Huh? When I lifted Yamaguchi's body and looked at the floor where he was lying down, I immediately felt a sense of discomfort. If the corpse was brought from the outside, there should be no blood under Yamaguchi's corpse. What is going on, dude? This is so freaking... It's so freaking confusing. Thanks to that, Yamaguchi's stomach and chest were wet with blood. The shape of bleeding itself certainly feels like dragging the corpse to the room from the outside. If so, there can be no blood left under the corpse like this. No, oh, before that, if there is blood under the body, it means that there was blood here before Yamaguchi fell. Isn't that right though? However, Nori didn't really seem to have, didn't really seem to bleed. And this blood must be Yamaguchi's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I don't really know, but I noticed. I don't really know. Me, same, same Yuki. But I noticed something strange about the situation with the Blood Sea and the library and Yamaguchi's body. I'll mark it down and discuss it with the others after the class trial. Li library bloodbath. Wasn't there like a bloodbath um, thing for uh, whatchamacallit? I'll talk to you, Otri, even though you're not gonna really <laughs> give me much information. It's like, wasn't there a piece of evidence that was like bloodbath? I think it had to do with like genocide or killing two people at the same time. How heinous is this person? This killer. Of course it's not me. Don't doubt it. I know you're not. I know you're not s smart enough to do this. Adore, don't worry. <laughs> not smart enough or strong enough to do this. You guys are my last. You guys are the very, very last people on my, uh, on my suspect list. Damn it, Yamaguchi and Inori were dead. I couldn't even say goodbye. Even so, we have to survive for them. Okay, let's do some more research. There may be something on the bookshelf. I'm gonna go super far away from the li from the body and investigate the corner over here. So leave this place to me. Oh, cool. Ooh, a romance novel. I'm gonna investigate this romance novel over here, Yuki. So, so don't uh, don't uh, come over here. It might be a uh, boy love too, but it's all for the investigation, Yuki. Okay. <laughs> huh? What is this blood spot? Right next to me is Yamaguchi, whose blood goes all the way around the library. Or maybe this is Kinjo's blood spot. It's kind of hard to know. It's not that strange that there could be blood spots in the library, following this idea, but this blood spot looks kind of different. It's the only one away from Yamaguchi's corpse. Is This blood spot is... <laughs> Funny if it was like, the blood here is blue. <laughs> what? Oh, it must be Kinjo's blood, because he's not human. Hey, Maida, what are you doing sitting on the floor? Oh, Kobashikawa, do you know where this blood stain comes from? Oh, right, that's where Kinjo fell. Ah, oh, this is the place you found him? Well, oh, he fell? Was he on top of one of the bookshelves or something? Or, I don't know. I guess he could have just, like, tripped or something. Well, uh, well, when we entered the library, Yamaguchi was there, as you can see it, and Kinjo was lying in that position and unconscious. He didn't know because you didn't see Kinjo here. That's right, I heard that Kinjo was struck in the head and bleeding, but... You mean he spilled this much blood? Okay, so I guess all that other blood is Yamaguchi's. You thought it was a joke? Atori had to disinfect and bandage him, so it's okay for now. But at first I thought he was really dead. Oh man, I was kind of excited, dude. <laughs> Kenjo was lying in this position. Then I can't imagine that Kenjo knocked down someone else's head in the back. Then how did the killer attack Kenjo to stun him? And if it's enough to make you bleed this much, why did they stop with only that? For real. It would make more sense to kill. Would Kinjo be like their actual target and then maybe like Yamaguchi just like showed up, you know? Yamaguchi and Inori were the only ones who were killed, even though there was an obvious, even though there was obvious malice behind it. The fact that a black hen can kill up to two people, since it was added later as a rule, the criminal wouldn't know about this. Yeah, I was like, they can't predict the rule. If Kinjo wakes up, I should ask him. If. If he wakes up. If he ever wakes up. 
Okay. Can I, um... I couldn't really tell if it was... I think it was just saying I could leave through there, right? Eh, whatever. I'll talk to Tyra. Oh, Maida. Tyra, what are you doing? Is there something in the hallway? Well, that's a, not exactly right. The smell of blood still is here, and as I keep looking at the body, I just get sick of it. God, there's so much blood outside the doors, too. Oh, that. Are you okay? You don't have to overdo it. Oh, no. Everyone is working hard. I can't be the exception. The class trial will start soon. It's all right. Then, then why don't you answer a few questions for me, Tyra? Oh, you want to ask me something? Yeah, when Kurokawa, Uihara, and I went to the invest went to investigate the third floor, would you like to tell me what happened on the second floor at that time? Yeah, she should know from this at least. Almost at the same time the BDAs rang, Kenjo fainted. It's full of holes that my own eyes didn't see. You know, I was like, <laughs> oh man, it's gonna take so long to uh, figure out how to like how this all like lined up. It's gonna be a lot like the last trial. I can already tell. <laughs> okay, I can help. I can help in this. That's simple enough. But there is not much to tell. We like, but there's not much to tell. We like Maida-kun, Maida -kun were shaken when we found the body. And then we started investigating. Well, I started investigating. Haru and Otori just kind of stared at the wall. Okay. I don't know if this has anything to do with the case, Maida -kun, but there's something I was a little confused about. Is it okay to say it? Sure, what's that? Kanata-chan, you said you found her in the science lab, right? Oh, thank you, Zell the Lesbian Elf. Member for six months. Hi, Weeby. Been a while since I could join a stream, but I'm only on part three of the series. I just popped to say, have a great stream, and then I'm loving the series so far. Wanted to ask your fave, too. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you don't stay too long for the stream, because there's, like, spoilers everywhere. Don't look at the chat, either. Uh, yeah, I like Kenjo a lot. <laughs> he, um, he's... The best and the worst boy at the same time. I don't know. He's pretty. He's pretty retaining. Who else do I like? I like Makako a lot too. Oh, and Kenji. Oh my god, I freaking love Kenji because of all the memes mostly. But he's still pretty great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Tarun Jahal. Thank you. Wow. Oh wow. Six months already. Time sure does fly. Thank you so much for being a member for six months. That's so awesome. I appreciate you guys uh, who are members. Also. I realized that you can't actually see the join button on mobile. So anybody who wants to become a member, um, I put a link in the description. I'm gonna add it to all the other streams too, so you guys can join a little bit easier if you're on mobile. Cause yeah, I didn't realize that on mobile, I don't actually see that. Cause I saw somebody asking like, how do I become a member? And it was like, there's a button next to my name, but there isn't on mobile. But yeah, you get a uh, chat emotes and there's a discord server. And um, I would like to start trying to post videos early for members too. Um, I'll see how that goes, <laughs> if I can get like, and a good schedule of things, but we'll see. But thanks, guys, uh, for those of you guys who remember and everything. Kanata-chan, you said you found her in the science lab, right? But I stopped by the science lab just before nighttime yesterday, too. However, at that time, the door was locked, too. Mm. What are you doing around the night anyway, Izagane? <laughs> okay. Oh, the door to the science lab was locked. Because you were, you know, in your trauma state until, like... You know, right when the nighttime thing went off, right? I don't want to suspect you again, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll freaking see. Yeah, do you think it's related to the case? It's true, the door didn't open even when we found Inori's body. It was blocked with something like a clasp. <laughs> I don't know, I keep going back and forth on who died first. <laughs> so I'm like, well, Inori was there. Um, I'm like, so... Nori was there since last night, probably, if the door was still locked. I was like, we hadn't seen her in a really long time, too. Was she in the scene when um, Haru and Atori were fighting? I don't feel like she was. But it's been kind of a while. I'll have to go back and look. I don't know, man. This is so confusing. Even so, she said the door was already closed before nighttime began yesterday. Um, I think I'll take it for reference. Thank you, Tyra. Was I helpful? I'm glad, then. <laughs> I thought I had to sneeze. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tarunja Hall. Um, I just wanted to pop in for today to check where you were. Enjoy the mystery and good night. Oh, thank you so much for coming and for donating. And thanks for being a member for six months, too. <laughs> I appreciate it. I am definitely enjoying it. I definitely <laughs> confused as to what happened. <laughs> I guess we'll see. This definitely seems like another complicated murder. Oh, thank you. La 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 la. Love the streams and love playing detective. Ha ha. Yeah, it is a lot of uh, <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Hopefully we can um, hopefully we can figure things out. It is definitely like I said, pretty confusing so far. We'll see. I definitely think Kenji is my biggest suspect though so far. Definitely. 
Oh, that's... That was because last night I did a bit of mincemeat in it. When I tried to use the scissors on my wrist... Oh, I don't want to talk about that again. Oh, uh, those scissors were in the science lab? Oh, so that's why she came here. So that makes sense. Okay. So I went to the science lab to pick up the scissors. I understand. I get it now. Thanks, Tyra. Could the scissors be... Would somebody use the scissors for um, Kakaru's neck, maybe? I'm trying to think. Hmm. <sighs> Before the nighttime yesterday, the science lab was already close. What does that mean? I'll have to check it out. Tyra's testimony. There's like so much stuff going on. I can't even really tell. Like, I can't tell if I am. Um... Okay. I think I was like, there was like an explanation point here. So I just want to try to see if there's anything I can investigate here. It's a huge blood trace from Yamaguchi's body to the library door. Is this all Yamaguchi's blood? Okay. It probably was just telling me to leave then. Get the fuck out of here, Yuki. Oh, Kenji, please tell me you didn't do this. Uehara, is your body okay? Don't over overdo it so far too much. No, it is not a deep wound, so do not mind it. By the way, have you seen the cell phone? Oh yeah, kind of, kind of forgot about the cell phone thing. <laughs> cell phone? You mean Maki's cell phone that you found on the third floor? I thought Uehara was keeping it. Yeah, I always kept it in my top pocket because I didn't know, I didn't know when we would need it. But now I realize that the phone is gone. Okay, so somebody stole the phone. I really hope it's not him. I guess Karina, the only reason I suspect him is just because his injury is like the least, but I feel like once I kind of figure out more of like when the killings happened and stuff, I'll have a better idea of who my suspects are, but right now he's uh, <laughs> he's probably my biggest suspect. It disappeared. When was the last time Uihara checked the cell phone? Oh, I think that was me saying that. It was last, last, it was least until yesterday night that I recall having it, but after my fainting, it was gone. Then that means the killer probably took it. <laughs> what a boomer. That's <laughs> so true, he is. <laughs> that is a sinister premonition, but I'd agree. However, the cell phone doesn't seem important right now, because first we have to investigate. That is so true, bestie. I wonder where did that cell phone go? Plus, you know, Kinji has yet to yassify the bodies. And it's like, bro, you always yassified them before. So like, why aren't you doing it now? <laughs> I, I brought the nail polish, I brought the makeup, and yet, and yet you're not yassifying them. You know, it's just kind of sus, Kinji. It kind of makes me think that, uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> the water is uh, going all over the place. But yeah, it's kind of making me think maybe, maybe you did it. Maybe that's why you're not yassifying them. I inadvertently tried to walk towards the science lab, but I was surprised because the water from it was filling the corridor now. The water is still leaking from the science lab? It won't matter if I just go in, but from what Makaru warned me before, gives me something to be cautious of. I, should st I shouldn't step in this water. Yeah, I was like, Makaru, please, <laughs> mother, tell me what I can do. Can I get permission to walk in the water? Hey, incompetent, get out of the way quickly. You're obstructing the traffic. Oh, Makaru, you came here, but... This water... <laughs> Are you still talking? Would you get out of the way already? But Makari, you said... But Makari, you said we shouldn't touch the water a while ago. Why are you doing this? And if you were going there, wouldn't it be dangerous to enter there? It's like, there's that new rule now too, so I guess that's probably why I'm... <laughs> why she's not worried. It's fine to enter now, so feel free to go in. I've spoken to Monokuma earlier to put it away. Put it away? You'll know when you enter the science lab, but still, no one seems to be turning off the faucet. You guys really don't have a clue, do you? You don't even have Surugi Kinjo anymore. God, you guys are so stupid. Put what away? The faucet? <laughs> oh my god, he was so fucking dumb. For the love of god, would you look directly with your own two eyes and think in your small pea brain head, at least. It would be nice if I could tell you everything, huh? Honey, you just not think for yourself, Maida, huh? Man, you didn't have to be so mean. You didn't have to bully me about it. Eh. There's no point in being so irritating. Well, since Makari said that it's safe to walk in the water, I should be confident now. Like Makari said, let's see what happened with my own eyes. <laughs> God, you're so fucking stupid, Yuki. That's cool. Makes like a little, uh, <laughs> a little, um, uh, whatchamacallit. A little noise in the water. It doesn't do it in here, though. Okay. What is this? What's this? A one stick-like object was floating on the water, filled the science lab floor. Oh, this is. That's right. When the science lab's door did not open, it was because of this thing that Makara removed to open the door. Okay, so that's what that was. Like, blocking it or whatever. 
So it's like the clasp, or was it just like a wood, uh, I don't know, a wood thing. We found Inori's body. We had a hard time because the door of the science room could not be opened, but it seems that the killer used this object to block the door. When I picked it up and checked it up close, it was an ordinary wooden stick, but it was very thick, so it would be natural if the sliding door was blocked with something like this. When I looked at the back of the door, I saw a space where a wooden board could fit in, if it is closed while standing behind the door. Then the closed room scenario would naturally be completed. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of zoned out a little bit. <laughs> I was like, wait, could they do that? Uh, it's like, so do they do that and then like, could they do that and then leave the classroom? I have to reread that one. I was thinking about other things for a little bit, TBH. However, what was the reason for the killer to make a closed room? Hmm, a reason to lock the room. I'll keep that in mind. Wooden board. I don't see how they would be able to do that, honestly. Eh, whatever, I'll look at it later. You didn't follow me, did you? At least you listened. When you came in here, you know now the reason why I told you not to touch the water and why this place became a pool of water. Uh, yeah, because there's a faucet, and the faucet runs, and water comes out, and so that makes that makes the room fill with- Oh my god, you're so freaking stupid! Oh yeah, but Makara, I wanted to ask you something different from this. Do you think I'll answer? I I'm serious here! I have a question. It was when you were in the art room locker. You asked me to show you my hand as soon as you left the locker, right? Why did you do that? I won't answer this, however. This is just simple safety. This is just simple, sa simple safety, no matter what happens. The only thing that lives on is insurance. It is the minimal precaution that's needed. Eh, insurance? The two of us aren't close enough to explain every phrase to you, am I right? Well, don't worry. The psycho cop won't be able to serve you this time, so you should have insurance at least. When you guys feel so clueless that you got no other ways to go and in the, ver and on the verge of death, if this aspect shows up in the trial, then I'll show you my last trump card. So you're not gonna help us until the very last second. Okay, thank you, queen. Thank you, girl boss. So please make sure that doesn't happen. Happen. Makari began to investigate Nori's body again, leaving only an empty silence in the end. It's the moment that she will no longer speak. At that time, Makari had to make sure to give her my right hand. I took a look at my right hand, but there wasn't anything there. It's probably like a cut or something, or I don't know. Maybe the size of it or something like that? Is there something only Makaru knows? Makaru's testimony! Okay. Maybe we should just go ahead and uh... Oh, okay, there's like something behind her. That's probably what did the electrocution, right? I don't wanna see! Let's just get it over with! Let's just get it over with! I was singing Nori's body, sinking into the water. It seemed like she was in... <laughs> Who would do this? It seemed like she was in tears. We're investigating the bodies of some of our dead friends with no time to grieve. However, without investigation, the killer has to be identified. In order to, in order to survive the class trial, I must investigate. <laughs> For now, I decided to look at the body of Inori based on what was written in the Monokuma file. Inori's body was so terrible that you couldn't see it with your own eyes open. But for now, all of her clothes and skin were burnt. Oh my god, she looks so bad, dude. Her whole body was fixed in several layers of box tape, and her hands were tied with ropes and hung from the table. What the fuck is wrong with this person, dude? Inori, in this state of being unable to move, suffered terrible pain and died. Damn it. I continued to, I continued to investigate while my swearings reached hollow ears. The tools that were used on Inori, I remember seeing those box tapes and ropes in the art room. Okay. It seems for whatever the reason, the art room is a place related to the incident. Okay. I'm sure this will help me kind of figure out the order a bit more <laughs> once I think about it more. <laughs> She's more fried than Teru Teru. No, stop that. No, too soon. <laughs> the fact that the faucet where she is tied to is the same table and there's many miscellaneous tools around us, but do they have anything to do with the case? The box tape was tightly attached to inner shoulders. Five layers. Even a strong adult would make it impossible to tear it off. Oh, thank you. Kyokamaki. On sight. You hear me, killer? It's on sight. The ultimate sniper is threatening you, killer, so you better watch out. Also, thanks for the donation, because it'll help cover up uh, Inori for a little bit. And that's what we need. That's what we need right now. Oh my god. Even a strong adult man would make it impossible. Wait, the box tape was slightly attached to her shoulders. Five layers. Even a strong adult man would make it impossible to tear it off with her own strength. And also, it must have 
It must have uh, even harder, must have been even harder for Inori, who is small in size to move. God, they really wanted her to die. Was there any reason to tie Inori to this extent? Just the killer's idea? Would that be it? Man, looking at it that way, Inori has always been in the infirmity. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. <laughs> Looking at it that way, Inori has always been in the infirmary after it was opened. Maybe there's a clue in that place, too. Okay. Check that out. <sighs> Man, these freaking assholes, dude. <laughs> who would do this to her? It's like, I understand she's like, you know, a person who, um, I don't know, is like important to solving the cases and that's why they killed her, but like, it doesn't make it, it, doesn't make it freaking okay at all. Just the way they killed her is so fucked up. An object next to Inori's body. It's the Monokuma file, 3-2. Brought by that thing. Information about Inori should be written in it. Oh my god. Just looking at the pink all over her. She suffered all over her entire body! Isn't that great, Weeby? Doesn't that make you just so freaking happy? Okay, so the estimated time of death is 8.35. So it's saying that they're five minutes apart? I'm like... Is the Monokuma file being, like, accurate, though? I just, like, cannot tell. <laughs> like, what is going on with this case right now? The cause of death is electric shock. The body's internal organs have been burned through the wet body because of an electric current for a long time while being bound. Jesus Christ. That's awful. Terrible. Not a drop of blood was shed. And yet, this is the most terrible someone has... Terrible thing someone has done to a friend. Doing this to a Nori, who is the smallest and weakest among us. What a freaking psychopath I'm looking at you, Kinjo. The culprit behind this. It's fair to say that we we are distressed to have to doubt another friend against our will. But at this very moment, the undeniable anger that I feel has risen against this perpetrator. Who I who I don't know who they are yet. Same here, freaking like on site, dude. Like screw this guy. Oh, thank you, Mikochi. Gonna watch the vibe, but I hope you're enjoying the game, Weeby. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate I appreciate the uh, donation, and I hope you enjoy the VOD. Um, it's different from Yamaguchi. He was presumed to have been killed by his neck with one blow, but Inori's case was just a victim that killed in front of, that was just killed in front of our very own eyes a few minutes ago with a single wall in between the door of the science lab. Oh my god, that's so freaking true too. It's like. Ah, literally we had to hear her scream and we're like just on the other side of the science lab. Holy shit, that's crazy. Like we couldn't do anything. We like literally had to watch her die almost or like, you know, be so close to her death without being able to do anything. Like, I can't imagine like how helpless you would feel in that situation. A few minutes ago with a single wall in between the door of the science lab, I heard her scream. Her pain, her cries, her agony very clearly. I can't help but feel this anger, but it won't make any difference. Since it's just a Monokuma file that gives me information, like, for real, when we find out the killer, like, I'm just gonna be like, step aside, Monokuma, you know what I mean? You don't need to do an execution, buddy. I got it. I got you covered. I will enact the execution personally, personally for you, and I will make it freaking brutal. Since it's just a Monokuma file that gives me information, I'll have to make use of this. But this alone is not enough information from what, from what can be deduced as of now... The time of death was 8.35. She died five minutes earlier than Yamaguchi. Around that time, we couldn't open the science lab room. And we were just outside of the room. There was no problem with the time, at least. But killing two people directly in five minutes... Oh yeah, another thing. They've been really good about doing this. Like, um, in this game, they always have like four people discover the body. So it's like hard to know for sure if, um, to like clear suspicion of the people who discover the body. Because I was like, well, Kenju discovered the body with us, but I'm pretty sure it was like, or not Kenjo, Kenji. <laughs> it was like me, Kenji, Makako. Who else was it? <laughs> was the other person? There was somebody else there, wasn't there? I can't remember, but there was another person there, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, Ray. Ray was there too, I think. So it's like hard to say if um, one of us was the killer or not. Nobody's like really cleared. The killing two people directly in five minutes. At that time, we're walking between the second and third floors. So if we go back and forth between the areas, you would definitely stand out. How could the killer murder two people with only five minutes for each? Monokuma file, three, two. Okay. The faucet that's running water. Hey, Ray, did you notice that there's a faucet that runs water? <laughs> did you notice that? I think, I think that might be why there's water in there. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh, this is... 
Deep in the water pool of the science lab, I saw something that I had seen somewhere before. Is it the cell phone? This was Maki's mobile phone? Probably the cell phone that Uehara discovered on the first day when the third floor was open. I was like, that one, a cell phone wouldn't electrocute though if it was in water, right? It would just die. <laughs> I haven't seen any other phones, so Maki's would be the only one left. Why is the cell phone in this place? I looked up at the sides, wondering, but as soon as I saw the screen, I noticed that this phone was not in normal condition. What? Why is the screen like that? The phone screen was crumbled with a mixture of purple and pink. The clock was turned into a strange language rather than numbers. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, it'd be so fucked up if they like took a picture of like a nori and they like set it as the wallpaper. It's like, and then I saw a dead body was the uh, <laughs> was the uh, background. Whoa, that was pretty freaky. Uh, the phone screen was crumbled with a mixture of purple and pink. The clock was turned into a strange language rather than numbers. And the buttons weren't fitting properly. To simply put it in a word, it's broken. Well, it's only natural because it was underwater. I couldn't hide my disappointment, hoping that I might be able to fix this phone and get in touch with the outside world later on. What's the point of breaking the phone unless you're like the mastermind or something? No, right now the class trial should be the main priority. Anyways, does this mean that the mobile phone was used as some kind of tool for the incident related to this case? Thinking that way, I fiddled with the phone a little more. I noticed a small alarm indicator at the top of the screen. Alarm was set to 8.30, but now it's already off. You gotta set a reminder for death. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna set this for you, Inori, just so you know exactly when you're supposed to die. It's E. Who set the alarm besides at 8.30? This was just before we tried to open the science lab door. Was it like a reminder for them to like escape here? I don't freaking know. As I pondered, it's very likely the phone was involved in the incident. Because it was not only that, there was another tool attached to the phone's strap. This is, if I'm not mistaken, okay, looks like a taser. This is, the object connected to the cell phone strap was something I've seen in cartoons and movies. An electric shocker. I think it was also called a stun gun. Why are these dangerous objects at school? Why are these ah, dangerous objects at school? No, it seems like they were in... The storage of the science lab, but that's right. Now I can understand what Makaru said. Probably because the stun gun was using its power into the water pit. How did they? How did they get that to go off without being in here? They use the cell phone somehow. It kind of looks like they're attached. It's like makes the timer. So I'm guessing the timer is like what makes it go off, or like the alarm somehow. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming that's the case. I guess we'll see. If it entered in that state, there's a high chance that we would have gotten electrocuted, but now it seems that it's not working. That was also because Makaru told Monokuma to put it away. More importantly than that is that this is far from a crime scene. According to the Monokuma file, Inori's death was caused by electrocution, so it's probably definitive that this was the most likely murder weapon. For sure, but what reason does it have to be connected to the phone strap? Okay, so. <laughs> oh, so it's like, maybe it's like the alarm, so when it vibrates, it like moves off the desk, and then it makes the taser go in. I, mean, I feel like that's a lot of, um, uh, what's the word? Um, reliance on a phone to move off the desk. <laughs> but what reason does it have to be connected to the phone strap? Also, that's not the only weird thing. If you think about it, if the weapon was a stun gun, it means that the killer struck Inori with this object. Then contradictions show up, such as a locked room scenario in the science lab and the crime that was done to Yamaguchi. No, there's nothing that suggests that the killer can only attack directly their victim. Maybe making the science lab out of water like this was to prepare an effective crime scene. Yuki, do you really not? Do you really not know? <laughs> do you really not know? If electricity, oh wait, 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 Ray, I'm having a, a brain blast. Is that what they called it in Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> a brain blast here, okay? So, so water conducts electricity. And if the taser goes into the water, would it? Ah, oh, I got nothing. They must have stunned her with a stun gun. <laughs> oh my god, Yuki. If electricity goes on while you're immersed in water, you're in a danger zone. The rest to figure out would be how the killer made the water to, to be energized and what method did they use. If they have to speak about this with others. Okay. Stun gun. Other things. How do I get to the sink? Kind of seem like... How do, I, how do I get there? 
Can't go there. Oh, I just gotta go around this way. Is there anything up here that I can look at too? Nah, doesn't really seem like it. Why is that locker open now? That looks sus, but there's no exclamation points, so I'm just gonna assume that it's not sus. This is one of the tables, okay. But now water is pouring out of the faucet at maximum capacity and it's overflowing. Right, the reason why the science lab was flooded like this, it was because of the faucet. <laughs> what a huge waste of water, but now is not the time to think about this. That's the true crime in all of this. <laughs> um, but now it's not the time to think about this. I heard, I hurriedly turned the faucet and the water stopped flowing. That's a good thing somebody finally <laughs> stopped it. I like how it was the last thing that I, uh, <laughs> that I did. Well, there's no reason for the water to fill anything now. Also, this must have been done by the killer too. But what was the reason? <laughs> I'm talking about this so like this sometimes. It's like the reason's so obvious, but they're like, God, what could it mean? It's like, wow, there's a, a knife stabbed into her body. But what could it mean? <laughs> Who, so they, so they decided to stab her, but why? Could this have been her cause of death? <laughs> I don't know, they always do that. Also, this must have been done by the killer too, but what was the reason? The reason to make the science lab a sea of water. God, I can't freaking think of it if only Kinjo was here to tell me. I'm freaking useless without my boyfriend. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Screw it, I wanna click on it anyways. Okay, this is where we found the um, thing, right? I guess we just left uh, the locker room open for whatever reason. Um, anything else? No, okay. I like how it makes that noise. It's cool. <laughs> Hashtag Mitch Mastermind. <laughs> now that would be a twist. <laughs> hey, Satsuki, what you doing? You know, it'd be interesting if Satsuki was like pretending to be stupid this whole time. I feel like Oteri and Haru are actually dumb. <laughs> Satsuki, like she's so like out of it. I could actually see her be like, I could see her pretending to be dumb. So I think she's a little bit on my suspect list just because of that possibility but i realized that it's like a very very small possibility it's just kind of like total uh theorizing on my part hi ayuki the hallway is a water bath and the art room is full of bloody lockers why is everything so bad where am i what's my name again <laughs> i don't even know what's going on it seems like the culprit this time planned the crime by going from place to place that's a very intelligent killer i wonder if satsuki can win Against such a mighty opponent. I'm a little worried. Oh, Satsuki. <laughs> huh? I wondered if there might be something here too, and I inadvertently looked at the trash can, and I was surprised to find something. I thought it was a tissue paper, but looking closely, it looks like a type of cloth. I took out the unidentified, unidentified piece of cloth from the trash and opened it. Let's see. Oh. Big old jacket with a bunch of blood on it. It's like, that's the part that's so confusing to me. It's like, where did all this blood come from? Are these clothes? No, it's not just clothes. This is, no way. They were, yes, they were indeed blood soaked. They were indeed blood soaked, that it was difficult to recognize the original color, but the pure white color that looked at a glance. Oh, wait, that's a Nori's jacket, right? I don't think she was wearing it before. It reminded me that this was originally a white gown worn by doctors. This white coat is what Inori was wearing. When I think about it, Inori's body that I saw in the science lab was not wearing a white coat. To think I would find it in such an unexpected place. I think I kind of noticed that she wasn't wearing a coat, but it didn't really like appeared. I don't know, I didn't really think about finding it in another place, you know? No, in fact, it may not be so unexpected. I'm like, I don't know. Some of me honestly thinks that the killer was like, Originally wanting to target like Kinjo and Rei, but they just ended up killing um, uh, Inori and Yamaguchi instead because of reasons. I don't know. <laughs> That's like kind of my idea right now because I feel like Rei and Kinjo would be better targets to kill. No, in fact, it may not be so unexpected. The place where the corpses were found or the science lab and the library. But the art room, it's pretty close to the area of the incident. The locker where Makaru was found is the same. This white coat. It seems the blood from the coat has been there for some time. I wonder what happens if you click on this, like, before you uh, talk to Makaru. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting. Like, was it there when I came in here? I assume it was. It seems the blood from the coat has been there for some time, since it didn't feel wet at all. The question is, where did the killer use this white coat? Ah, oh, shit. I don't know. I just thought of something. I don't want to suspect her. 
but I don't know. I'm a little suspecting, or I'm a little suspicious of Akane right now, because I was like, who else was bleeding? And I was like, Akane cut her wrist, so I could potentially see her being involved in this case more than she's litting on. Especially since, like, allegedly, Kakaru died, like, you know, more recently. But I think they said his blood was pretty dried, too. But I can't tell. I don't know, it's just an idea of, like, where the blood would have come from. Because that's the only person I know who has, like, an injury or would have been having, like, you know, I don't know, like, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of blood loss. But I don't really have, like, a big, uh, a big explanation for it other than that. For starters, Inori didn't seem to have any bleeding, so maybe it was used while killing Yamaguchi. But no, it can't be! It's too dry to be Yamaguchi's blood! It's gotta be Akane's, right? Though, I thought it would be- I thought it would be important- I thought it would be an important clue, so I was able to make a new discovery while investigating every corner of the white coat. Maybe Inori was just trying to help Akane? Like, uh, at that time? And that was how she got the blood on her? And like, I don't know, maybe uh, it's more of a red herring? I guess we'll see. In the pocket of the white coat, I found out, uh, I found a crumbled plastic wrap, but when I opened it carefully, I could see that it was bloodstained. The locker, the library floor, the white coat, and this. Oh my god, there's so much blood everywhere. There's too many blood-related clues. What even happened here? Also, when I take a look closely, the plastic wrap had a small, round hole in the middle, but the meaning was unknown. I guess I'll have to talk about it in the trial. It's possible it was used to prevent blood, but... Wrapping a plastic for the sake of, would it have anything to do with the clues we found? I don't know, I could see... I could see it where Inori is just like, treating Akane and that's how she got blood on her. But it is a little suspicious to me. I'm trying to think of who else would have had like, blood on them, you know? Oh wait, I thought this was a clue. Huh? Okay. This is a plaster weapon. Was it originally here? Uh, was that what they used to kill uh, Yamaguchi? I thought it was against the plaster. I thought it was against the plaster on the right. I don't come to the art room often, so I'm not sure about this. Hmm, I don't know. It's probably just an illusion. The moment I tried to make that judgment and move my steps, I saw the red spot. Hmm. The spear. Is this blood? There ain't no way Yamaguchi died at... 835 or 840 or whatever it was. There is just no way, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to think, man. I'll have to look through all this again before the trial, but I am very suspicious of that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that whole, this whole like timeline that they're creating. Cause like, how would that make sense if he died afterwards? What the, cause like if it was somebody on the other floor, they have to come up here and put this back. I mean, I guess, like, they would have to wipe it off, like, uh, quickly? I don't know. It wasn't very notable, but there was a circular red dot on the tip of the long blade. I picked up the spear and smelled that- <laughs> smelled that part. <laughs> a faint but fishy smell. This must be it. This is blood. And then I ate it. And then I licked it off. <laughs> Am I- what are you doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> then the weapon that killed Yamaguchi was something long and sharp. If it's long, this might fit the murder weapon. After using it to kill Yamaguchi, it was returned back to the same place where it was originally. But the location was different because the killer got mistaken? Looking at the blood on it, it must be something related to the case somehow. But why is the blood so tiny sized and in a circular sp splatter? That is really weird. <laughs> it was so tiny that I almost missed it. Did it make a small... Did it make a small bounce from this? No, that would not have caused the blood to splatter in the first place. I don't think I can figure it out yet. It's so weird. <laughs> mm, tastes like raspberry juice. <laughs> Satsuki's like, I'm, I'm getting kind of weird out, weirded out over here, Yuki. I, I think I'm gonna go. I think, I think you might know the mastermind now that I, now that I think about it. You're pretty sus, dude, Yuki. <laughs> not, not feeling you, bro. Not feeling this anymore. I don't think I want to be in the same room as you. It's a locker that contained miscellaneous art tools, but now the inside is covered with blood and is in terrible condition. <laughs> Makari was bound like this in this bloody locker. At that time, Makari's arms and legs were tied with tape and her mouth was taped as well. She was locked in from the outside and hit the door of the locker from the inside to try to get out. And the result was rumbling, was a rumbling sound that echoed in the second floor. And the killer did all of this, right? 
Apparently the culprit trapped her here for some reason. Otherwise, if you did all of this to yourself, it would only create more suspicion. Not only Makaru, the attack on Uehara and Kenjo must have had their reason as well. But the bigger issue, but the bigger issue is this bloody locker. <laughs> Where did all this blood come from, dude? <laughs> oh man. If you think about it, Yamaguchi or Inori's body doesn't seem to be related to the art room. However, does that mean the blood in the lock? What is however, what does the blood in the locker suggest? No matter who's who who it's from, it's pretty difficult not to miss. The blood is also dried. Inori didn't seem to have any bleeding. Yamaguchi instead had too much bleeding. But he died not too long ago, and Makaru was already tied here, but she was not bleeding. I can only thing I can really think of is Akane. It's like I guess like Uehara was bleeding a little bit, but like it didn't really seem like he was bleeding that much. I don't know. It kind of seemed like he was like, oh, I'm dying, Yuki. And then like he'd come over and he just like wipes it off really quickly. He's like, yes, I'm good. <laughs> I'm back to normal. Yes, let's go find the body. That was another reason why I was kind of suspicious of him. Like, cause I thought homeboy was like dead when I saw him. And then after he got like the tissue from Akane, he was like, yeah, I'm good. Okay, let's do this. If that's the case, it could be Kenjo's blood. It's only my guess. It's my only guess, but... Hmm, Kenjo just got hit in the head. Oh yeah, there is also Kenjo who got hit in the head too. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I guess it depends on like where Kenjo was like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe they like, I'm trying to think. So what I'm thinking is, yeah, they tried, they were aiming for like Mikaru and Kenjo. But for some reason they ended up killing um, Inori and Yamaguchi instead. I'm like, maybe, yeah, they, like, knocked out Kenjo originally, and so this is from his blood, and, like, him and Rei were both put in this locker, and they tried to, like, take Kenjo out to kill him first, but then, like, I don't know, <laughs> like, something happened, and the Yamaguchi showed up, and he died, I don't, okay, I don't know if this makes any sense. Wouldn't he have died? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Okay, I was like, I don't know if this theory is, uh... <laughs> Making too much sense, so I think I'm just gonna toss it. This blood's identity is troublesome in more ways than one. I have no choice but to discuss it at the class trial. Bloody locker has been added to the E handbook. Okay, is there anything else? What is what what else is there, Satsuki? Um oh yeah, the infirmary. That's what I need to do. What's up, Kenji? Tell me you didn't do this, bro. Uehara, is your body okay? No, it is not a deep wound, so do not mind it. By the way, have you seen the cell phone? Oh, uh, yeah. We can actually tell him about that now. Cell phone? You mean Maki's cell phone that you found on the third floor? I thought Uehara was keeping it. Yes, he always kept it in my top pocket because I didn't know I would, didn't know when I would need it, but now I realize that the phone is gone. It disappeared. Oh, wait. We're not going to tell him? We're not gonna- we're not- we're not gonna tell him. <laughs> we're not gonna tell him we found it. I guess they didn't uh, plan for that. I wonder, where did that cell phone go? <laughs> God, where could it have freaking gone, Yuki? <laughs> so, oh, Yuki. <laughs> not the brightest uh, crayon in the- in the box, huh? Makako. Kurokawa, you came down to the first floor. Did you figure out something? Uh, silent yet again. Kurokawa. Originally, Kurokawa was always... Would always come out without a word, but now it looks like she's cautious. Is it because of the mood? I don't think she's open to talk for now, so I decided to leave it alone. Let's continue investigating. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell if she's just, like, cautious or if she's sussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, wait. Eh, screw it. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. It's like the infirmary, right? Okay, whatever. Oh, Kenjo! Boyfriend, are you okay? Will you be okay? Speak to me, Kenjo! You okay? It's Kenjo who's fainted. The others treated him here and put him in the infirmary's bed. There's no way Kenjo would just finish here. When will you wake up? We're in a lot of trouble without you. We're all so freaking stupid. Kenjo, speak to me. Speak to me. Move your hand if you're still alive. <laughs> Cough if you want me to put you out of your misery. <laughs> Yuki, what? Oh, what are you trying to say? This refrigerator is a place to store transfusion packs individually. Oh, is that where all that freaking blood is coming from? Transfusion packs? That would make the most sense. 
This refrigerator is a place to store transfusion packs, individually stored for each blood type. I was surprised when I opened up the refrigerator. Huh, no way, we don't have any transfusion packs. Okay, so that's where all the freaking blood came from. Okay, so I guess Akane might be more um, ruled out of suspicion then. There were no more than 20 transfusion packs left the last time I saw them. Who, who used a transfusion pack recently? Oh, me. Maybe they, yeah, they killed Yamaguchi a while ago, but they used some of the transfusion packs to like make it seem like it was more recent, you know what I mean? Hmm. I can see that being the case. Who used a transfusion pack recently? No, no, where would you? If that's the case, they would need to be one of the people downstairs, right? I just really don't want it to be Kenji. I'm like, how can I excuse Kenji from <laughs> suspicion? Even use a, why would they even use this? Let's think for a moment. When did the packs disappear? I recall them being stored properly until at least yesterday. And that leaves, was it the killer is doing? But even if the culprit is the one, why did they need to take a transfusion pack? Did they even need fresh blood? Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. I guess, I don't know if Inori would really be able to tell if, uh, like, oh, this is A-type blood mixed with B-type blood. That wouldn't really make too much sense. <laughs> oh, thank you, Maki. Kenjo, I'm literally dead. Stop being so dramatic. <laughs> oh, this is a much worse face than what happened. This is a much, much worse fate than what happened to Maki Yuki. I want you to know that I've suffered the most out of everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. I think we're almost done by now, but the culprit is still a mystery, damn it. Maybe more investigation is required. Monokuma hasn't called yet, so let's continue. Oh, hey, look at you. Kenjo, you're awake. Maida. Are, are you okay? What about your bandages? It wasn't a thin wound from what I heard. Man, I really thought he was gonna be out for the rest of the rest of the chapter. Now is not the time to bother about that. Maida, did a murder happen? Yeah, a little while ago. The class trial will begin soon. Kenjo, I'm glad you woke up. We, we're really useless without you, dude. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to relax. I have to see the scene of the case before the trial starts. Ding dong! I bet it's gonna happen any moment now. Maida, did you... Maida, did you do some research? Do you know where the scene is? Uh, yeah, you should start with the library. Science lab, the art room, and the infirmary. Okay, thanks. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is there four rooms? Kenjo, wait a minute. What's wrong? I'm sorry, but like I said before, I don't have much time right now. If I go to the trial without knowing what the case is, it's over. <laughs> you guys are so stupid without me, okay? I'll talk to you later. But what I'm trying to ask you right now is related to the investigation. It's okay if it's simple, right? So please answer me. How the hell did you pass out? I saw a bloody Yamaguchi. Oh, okay. So, what time was that at? That will help us. That will help us a lot. Eh? I saw blood coming from the library, so I went to investigate. Yamaguchi was collapsed on the floor in blood. No matter how much I see corpses, I couldn't hide my surprise. Taking that little, uh, taking that little pause as their chance, someone attacked me from behind. I don't have any memories after that. Okay. Sunday attacked him from behind. Anyway, Hara from behind. Probably Ray from behind too. Yeah. What I mean is Yamaguchi was lying on the floor, all bloody since yesterday at night. Correct. Hmm. Would that clear Kenji from suspicion? I'm like, please, please. Clear Kenji from suspicion. <laughs> clear, clear my queen, please. <laughs> Cause I was like, how would they do that? I feel like it would have to be somebody on the second floor if they did do the transfusion thing, you know? To make it seem like it was fresh. Unless they did it before we even like started looking, you know? I guess it wouldn't have dried like that quickly. It's like, what time was it though? It's like 8.10 when we got up here. I think, yeah, 810 was what we told Uihara when we got up here. I'm trying to think though. I'm like, ah, oh, this is so complicated. Correct. If you walk around the scene right now, you'll notice it. So Yamaguchi, he's dead, right? Yeah. Not only Yamaguchi, Inori also died. What? Inori too? The culprit in this case is not a simple person. They're a heinous mind that killed two people in a single day. You should see what they did to Inori too. This damned asshole. I'll definitely catch this being and punish them. You should go and do some more research for that, too. So I'll leave now, Maida. Oh, my God. 
This is actually good, though. Kinjo managed to wake up. Will he be okay? Time is already... Oh, right. What Kinjo said was somewhat weird. Kinjo mentioned that he saw Yamaguchi collapsed, but Yamaguchi's time of death is around morning hours. So was he unconscious until the killer showed up again? Bloodied and abandoned until the morning after. <laughs> I'm like, can the Monokuma file be wrong? Because it was in the Monokuma file that said the time of death. I was like, I don't think it can be wrong, though. Right? Would they knock him out and have the blood there and then they cut his throat in the morning? I don't know if that would, like, make sense, though, if that's, like, a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Bloody and abandoned until the morning after. No miracles like Tamori don't happen twice. Still, what Kenju has said would be a clue to something, so it's good to put that into notice. Kenju's testimony. The more I investigate something, the more the mystery seems to get deeper. Oh, time's up, Kenjo. Oh, you guys are so screwed. Hey, you guys. I'm sorry you had to work so hard on your research. However, Mr. Monokuma here is impatient. So why don't we just solve this together? That said, the class trial will now begin. Please gather up at the red carpet door on the first floor as usual. What kind of results will be waiting for us in the trial? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it thrilling? Oh, I'll be waiting. Oh, man. Time's up. But what about Kenjo? God freaking dang it, we're all gonna die. Oh, my God. I barely know how to turn off a faucet without him helping me. What are we gonna do? He just started investigating, but now they're already gathering. It was a big misfortune that he was lying down because he passed out. Even without Kenjo's help, we'll have to work together. Even if I think about it, I haven't even figured out if the crime... I haven't even figured it out, the crime scene, properly yet. <laughs> Damn it! This won't make a difference if I stay here. If I'm late, I'll get punished. <laughs> Let's just go. Oh, man. Poor Kenjo, dude. It's like right when he got to the library. Time's up, buddy boy! And <laughs> pretty boy! Upon entering the entrance of the court, most of the guys were already gathered. Yeah, I was like, I don't see Kenjo. Um, who else is in here? God, there's so many people dead now. <laughs> like, is this everybody? Oh, my God. Mida Kun, you're here. Are you the last one? Then did Kinjo never manage to open his eyes? I was like, man, is this really everybody now? That's crazy. Eh, what do you mean? Kinjo isn't here? Well, what are you talking about? Did Kinjo wake up? I met up with Kinjo just before I got here. Is that true? Thank goodness Kinjo woke up. But I can't see him. Is he invisible? It's a matter of language to not have a class trial without properly investigating on his own. Personality. However, it's time for the meeting, but he is late because he wants to investigate as much as possible, isn't that so? That's so like Kenjo indeed. No way, but what if Kenjo is the culprit in this case? What is this nonsense deja vu again? Turiya, are you just saying that because they're late? Think about it and tell me! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> of course they leave you guys alive. <laughs> Why not? It could happen, right? Oh man, they're not the brightest, is what I mean. What, Kinjo can be the culprit? Wouldn't it be more fun then? Psycho Cop finally goes to murder with her own hands. <laughs> How can you laugh at a situation like this, Psycho? Makaro agrees with my opinion for once, so it, wouldn't be, so it wouldn't be strange if the universe explodes. Strangely, it's more scary when Makaru says it. What do you, what do you enjoy so much about this, Makaru? Did you forget? In the class trial, you could die. Yeah, for real. She's like, I don't know, I guess she's just such she's just such a girl boss. She knows she's gonna make it through, you know. I had hoped that you would change at least a little, but you're still the same as ever. Still a bitch. Because I know the killer and the trick even before going to the trial. Are you is she real or is she just like putting on a front? I can't really tell. It's like, I swear, like, literally, she like just goes in and is like I've already scanned the room. I know exactly what happened to Inori. I don't even need to see the library. <laughs> I know what happened there, too. Yes. Mm. Because I know the killer and the trick even before going to the trial, all that's left is to watch you shovel the grave, right? Huh? You already know who the killer is? Who is it? Why should I tell you, idiots? Don't worry. I'll watch you shoveling and struggling for my entertainment. I'm not sure if I should say this, but 
This is the first time I ever thought about wanting to hit a woman this much. By the way, where's Kenjo? He's late. Hey, Kenjo, get your ass over here. All right, have you all gathered? Good then, let's get started. As always, just take the elevator to go down. The trial's design has been remodeled, so look forward to it. Oh, I do it just for you guys. But Kenjo isn't here. Huh, Kenjo's not there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Kenjo was given a special time bonus due to his fainting condition. Is what I want to say, but since he woke up and started investigating the case, it's presumed that they're going to participate in the class trial. So this is my mistake. He won't get punished, so I'll bring him shortly. I'm super Sonic Speed! Sonic, da 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 da. I think there was like a weird interaction with like Monokuma and Sonic on like Twitter or something. <laughs> it was like, I feel like I remember talking about that in a video at some point. Hey, what kind of super Sonic Speed is this? I'm fast as fuck, boy! No, it's just that when I was about to search for him, he was already at the door! Kenjo-kun sure is obedient! You came and I didn't even need to call you. Oh, that's why you're my favorite! Shut up and disappear before my eyes already. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kenjo, are you okay? Well, I did as much investigation as possible compared to the previous cases. The amount of information is extremely insufficient, but... No, I asked if you were okay since you got hurt. Oh, you actually care about me? Oh my god, you're the only one. Oh, you mean my body? Well, it's fine. I have experienced this much injuries. Even once or twice with a snatcher. A snatcher? Hey, it's been a long time, hasn't it, Kinjo? I didn't expect to see you bleeding and fainting. I think you're forgetting something. I'm a human being too, so I got caught off guard. Hey, why did you get a little... Why did you get a little fed up with us, Kenjo? Clearly last time you left the dining room. I thought you were breaking our bonds or something like that. I still fucking hate you guys, okay? Besides Yuki. <laughs> Hearts. <laughs> of course I did, and that still hasn't changed. But in the conditional situation of the class trial, your charges of being preliminary criminals are revoked for the time being. Besides Yuki. Hearts, baby. <laughs> the criminal analogy is that the more manpower there is, the better. And because a murder has occurred, the rest of the criminals, other than the criminal of this incident, are simply ordinary citizens in this scenario. Okay. So we're potential killers, except for right now, since there was an actual killer. Okay, cool. Thank you, Kenji. Cool. Kobishikawa was making a list of swearing words to give a double comeback to Kinjo once he woke up. <laughs> what? Hey, I never did that. Shut up, Shoji! Do whatever you like. This is a temporary truce anyways. After this trial, you'll become a preliminary criminal once more. Of course, Akane Tyra is an exception. I'm always thinking of you as a semi-criminal. One that committed attempted murder. So don't even think you're innocent in the least. Yeah, I was like, ugh, he's still gonna be on about that shit. Ah, uh, you fucking psycho, Kenjo. <laughs> uh, the crazy guy started having seizures again. Tyra, don't bother with that waste, with what that waste of a man says. Just like at me, Tyra. When Maki died, we were thoroughly fighting with each other. It is, it is a difficult class trial um, ever if we have to work together. Something gave me an odd feeling like this would be an even more, like this would be an even harder trial than any other one I faced. That's enough talking. Anyways, we're starting the trial, right? Let's get on with it already. Indeed, the first thing we must do now is solve what's in front of us. It's not good for everyone to be on edge this early. Um... Can I punch Kenjo? Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> of course you can, Akane. You don't even need to ask. Yamakaru yeah, and Uehara are right. If we do not pass the class trial first, we will all freaking die. Relationships with the others. Conflicts with Kenjo. There are many problems ahead. I want to solve them, but first, the biggest one. Let's begin our class trial. If we don't take care of it, nothing will change in the end. Okay, I guess um, I don't know if we should talk to people now or if we should wait to do it before the trial. You we'll probably do it now. I'm sure the trial is going to be like five hours long or something crazy. <laughs> uh, coming here again and again. Now just smelling this place seems more disgusting. It smells like bear poop and bear piss. I'm sorry, okay? We don't have a bear bathroom, okay? <laughs> Where else am I supposed to go, Otari? Oh, Jesus. I was insane for the most part after Ayame Chain was executed, so I couldn't talk much to those two. I'm so 
Sorry, Kanata-chan. I'm really sorry, Yamaguchi-kun. Damn it! Killing two people at once! This is the worst! It's the worst feeling ever! Ever! Um... What's up, Kenjo? I investigated as much as I could. The only thing left to do is deduct the results from yours. I am relying solely on you. <laughs> you are the uh, least useless person here besides Ray, but she's too much of a girl boss to tell us anything. No way, I think the number of people is a bit shorter, yeah? No. Oh, well, the only thing left to do is this, right? When did we all start disappearing like this? There's something dangerous about this case, and it seems that it'll be a more complex trial than before. Be on your guard. Dee -dee 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 -dee. What now? Go down there already. God, <laughs> give us freaking over with, Weeby. <laughs> Why are you trying to stall this out? <laughs> okay, I'll save. Um, I'll probably uh, wait to do the trial next week. Um, if you guys want to, though, I think I'm down to do some free time events. Maybe we can do a Nori or a Kakaru, maybe? Just a thought. Because I think, well, it's been like almost two and a half hours. Let's see. One of my mods told me how long the trial was supposed to be. I don't know if you guys want to, like, vote on who to, uh, do the free time events for. But yeah, I was like, I figure I'll probably do it next weekend. Honestly, I'll probably just try to do the, um, whatchamacallit, the whole trial next weekend if I can. I have, like, the main thing is, like, I have the, <laughs> sorry, I have, like, the V3 Mastermind. Okay, three hours and five minutes. I could probably do the whole thing in one go. Let's do it, baby! <laughs> How long was the last one? The last one was, like, I don't know. It was, like, a lot of time, dude. <laughs> I'll just have you guys vote on who you want me to do the free time event for. Let's do a poll! Okay, um, so I don't know if I can do both of them. Who's... Um, crap. Uh, so, Inori... Or... Kakaru. Hopefully I didn't spell his name right. Who's free to should we do? Okay. Five hours was the last one. That was crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. That was so freaking long. Oh man, it was so fun. Mitch stands rise up. <laughs> yes, yeah, screw it. Let's just do let's just do Mitch's free time events. Everybody loves Mitchy boy. Oh wow, average view dura duration, 20 minutes. You guys were crazy this uh <laughs> this stream. That's really long for my streams. Thanks guys. Oh my god, we reached a thousand uh concurrent viewers at one point. That's crazy. You guys are so sweet. I really appreciate all the uh support on this um on this series, it's been crazy. I did not expect it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, Inori has won by a landslide. I think I did her uh, first ones, right? Events. Inori. Uh, what was her last name? Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> uh, Inori. She's so freaking cute. I love her so much. Oh, I'm so upset. I was like, it's just gonna make me even more sad because like seeing her free time events, like, man, it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just gonna be hard to do. It's like now I have to see, like, let's see here. Do do do. Um Oh hey, that actually worked out pretty well. Look at that. It's like all centered and stuff, all nice. You guys can let me know if it gets all weird though. <laughs> oh my god, Saruki Kenjo is in chat. <laughs> Don't worry, the whole cast is in chat <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I was like, why would anybody kill precious little Inori? So freaking messed up. Hey, the audio for this one's like really low. Okay, try to do like right there for you guys. I think that should be good. It's like, super quiet for me. Um, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, because Kazuna's FTEs, I was like, yeah, I want to do a, a character that I know is going to be, like, <laughs> what should we call it, like, wholesome, you know? Unless, like, oh my god, it would be so freaking messed up if Inori was like, yeah, and then I murdered someone, right? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> there was that time that I murdered somebody and I, like, peed on their body. That was pretty crazy. You want me to tell you about that, Yuki? <laughs> no, I think I'm good. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Clean, mental, emotional health. I think I did this one. Thanks, you really are a doctor at heart. No problem. I'm so freaking sweet. Why would anybody kill me? 
What's their fucking problem, Yuki? Tell me! It was a bit scary to see her being so eager to teach me about health. But it feels that she generally cares for her classmates. Managed to turn down Kanata's persistence, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, here we go, part two. Oh, thank you, that gamer bro. My prime suspects are Uehara, Akane, and Satsuki, but I could always be wrong. Those are basically my prime suspects, too. I feel like it really just depends on, like, how, I don't know, like, the time frame is, because there's so much, like, weird stuff with the time frame. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if it's just because I don't want to suspect Kenji, because I love him so much, but, like, I'm leaning more towards, like, Akane or Satsuki, or Satsuki just because, like, I don't think the Monokuma file would lie, so I think that somebody would need to be down there to, like, you know, pour out the blood to make it seem like, well, I don't know, actually. Wait, no, never mind. I'm confused. I'm confusing myself because I'm, like, thinking about this. I'm like, wait, well, why do I think, why am I dismissing Kenji as the culprit besides the fact that I love him and he's my queen? <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll just have to think about it more later. But anyways, <laughs> well, uh, let's just go ahead and do this. But yeah, those are my same three suspects, too, at the moment. Kanata, what do you do in your spare time? <laughs> Look at Mitch over there just doing his little dancey dance next to the fan. Oh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I just do surgeries and shit. Doesn't really have like a whole lot of uh, free time. Well, something like enjoying a hobby at home or going on a road trip with friends. It's like, she's like a doctor at like 16. <laughs> it's like, I feel like she probably doesn't have very much time to do anything else. Um, I'm in the hospital for most of the time. If I were to take a day off, I would just dissect animals. I would be reading a medical journal or checking patient records. That's not taking a break at all. Aren't you just working all the time then? Oh, is that so, Mr. Mina? But I feel most content with myself while studying and taking care of my patients. Wow, you care about your patients a lot. I know, she's such a little sweetie. But don't certain uh, but don't certain temperamental patients rage at doctors for no reason for no reason sometimes? Do you ever get angered by them? Uh, nobody should rage at her ever. I just like still can't believe somebody killed her. Like, that's so fucked up. <laughs> You see, temperamental patients are often poor people experiencing the harshest illnesses. They just need someone to vent their frustration to. That's true, dude. I can't imagine how frustrating it is to be poor and to have, like, a serious illness you need to get taken care of. Would suck. Oh my god, like, the healthcare system is so bad. <laughs> well, I don't really know how, how it is in Japan, but in America, oh, bad. <laughs> it's really bad. So I don't need to get upset by them. I treat and listen to them as my patients, just like other patients. Oh, you're so nice, Kanata. There were occasional dangerous moments, though. After all, the emergency room is usually reserved for those on the brink of death who need immediate who need immediate treatment. Somebody like attack her or something? More than that, you meet a variety of people from different backgrounds there. I guess you could meet like dangerous people, you know. The previous summer, there was an instance of a Yakuya, Yakuza faction war. <laughs> this guy named Kuzurio came in. He had something wrong with his eye. He was pretty scary. But he was also really cute. He had a baby face. Gentlemen from rival Yakuza groups were brought into the ER. And attending doctors were almost wrapped up in the middle of a knife. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> in the middle of a knife fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Oh, thank you, Marmor. Uh... Bull, our surgeons are the last staff in the OR room and first out. Hell, even the main doctor's lounge have game consoles. Oh, really? Do you work at a hospital? <laughs> Just playing Elden Ring in between uh, in between shifts. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, by the way. Oh, man. It must have been a scary moment. Yeah, it's pretty intense. With any less luck, the emergency room could have become a sea of blood. Weren't you scared? I was really thinking, too, just, like, the studying to become a surgeon at, like, what, like, 16 would have to be, like, so crazy. Because <laughs> you have to go to school for so long. I was scared, but I am a doctor. I can leave my patients untreated regardless of who they are. Regardless of if they try to stab me while I'm doing surgery on them. I just gotta keep going. 
Because the Yakuza gentlemen were moving intensely despite their wounds, they were endangering their lives. Which is why I... What did you do? Uh, what'd you do? Don't take a weird turn, please. I didn't want to do it, but I resorted to violence. Oh, God. <laughs> it was self-defense, though, right? Right? You're not going to pull a Kazuna on me. And then I just enjoyed the rush I felt as I ripped them apart, Weeby, with my bare hands. Oh, God. <laughs> When I blinked the head of one of the boisterous Yakuza gentlemen, everyone else became quiet. It sounded like this. <laughs> Blink. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad it was wholesome. <laughs> Just slapped him on the back of the head. <laughs> Blink. <laughs> I might speed it up a little bit. I feel like sometimes it's a little slow. Ow. Did you just hit me? It was just like that, Yuki. Cannot have boinked my head, though. I didn't feel any real pain. It must be because of her small, cute hands. <laughs> the Yakuza just thought it was, like, so cute. They were like, God, let's, let's stop fighting. <laughs> huh? Was it painful, Mr. Mida? Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding internally now. And not at all. <laughs> it's cute. Wait a sec, that was reckless. What if the Yakuza returned the favor and slapped your cheeks, Kanata? But it's so adorable. <laughs> well, my patients were in genuine danger. Fortunately, they listened to my explanation and compiled and complied with my orders without complaining afterwards. Decided they liked her. I bet that after something like that happened, the Yakuza gangs were probably too dumbfounded to speak. <laughs> like, I can't believe this little girl blinked me on the head. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's adorable. Even so, you shouldn't put yourself in great danger for your patience. Kanata, you're a normal human being like everyone else. If you get hurt, it would be a bigger crisis. Mr. Mida, are you concerned about me? She does seem like... Very sacrificial. Could that have anything to do with this case? Thank you very much, but I wanted to fill I wanted to fill my duty as a doctor. Since everyone was discharged from the hospital without complications, it was all worth it. Kanata has such a kind heart. She's like an angel, but she's so selfless that she forgets to take care of herself. I guess it's a consequence of her selfless and professional nature. After listening more about Kanata's hospital. Uh, hospital stories, I went back to the dormitories. Which one do I want to do next? I really do think they were trying to kill Kenjo and Rei rather than um, her. Maybe, yeah, she like, cannot cult. <laughs> More cults. <laughs> Mr. Mina, do you feel any fatigue from our predicament? Um, I guess I am a bit tired from the nerves, I suppose. No, I mean when I point you on the head. You're still suffering trauma from that, aren't you? Oh, I knew it. I'm too swole. Being locked up in a stressful environment is making me nervous. It's mentally tiring. Yeah, I like that she cares about mental health too. Yeah, if we can at least go outside and feel the sun once in a while, it would help. It would help us feel better. You always kind of forget about that aspect of these games. It'd be pretty hard to be locked up all the time. I get kind of depressed. I get kind of depressed if I'm like just home all the time, you know. Father, please save me, like you did once. <laughs> Father, can you appear? As <laughs> no, not you. Having to kill another, having to kill other people and be distrustful of my friends. I can't bear it anymore. Father. Did your father save you in the past, Kanata? Ah, yeah, well. Like, you mean actual father or like a priest father? That's what I was thinking of. Mr. Maida, is there someone special who comes across your thoughts at times like these? For me, those people are my family members. But I definitely don't have my life savior or someone like that. I can tell you about my life savior. Her name's Junko. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just keep waiting for this to take a turn. I, I see. Nah, she's wholesome. I don't have to worry. Kanata, is everything okay? You've been acting strangely today. Ah, uh, you see. I suppose it's okay to tell you, Mr. Maida. 
As a matter of fact, my father and I are not bi biologically related. Okay. Adopted. What? I don't know why I like you're freaking out so much. <laughs> it's like it happens. Kanana's not biologically related to her father? I haven't heard this before. When I was younger, a big accident happened. It happened when my family was going on a trip. Oh man, she had to go through more tragedy in her life. It robbed, it robbed me of my family's lives and almost my own as well. Aw. I was too injured to clearly recall what happened, however. Oh man. Kanata, it must have been difficult for you. I wonder if she was in like an orphanage or something. I'm so sorry. Barely breathing, I was transported to a hospital for an emergency surgery. It makes sense why she wanted to become a doctor, though. But upon witnessing my grave injuries, every single surgeon refused to take on a challenge that seemingly had little chance of success. Aw, oh, except for one person. One person. That is all but one. I guess he could become like her uh, tutor or something. Why is she calling father, though? <laughs> One surgeon who believed in that small chance volunteered to operate on me. Thanks to him, my life was saved. Ah, oh, that's good. Speed up a little bit more. That's that surgeon was. I guess he might have adopted her afterwards. Yes, he is now my father. Oh, that's so freaking nice. The surgeon sympathized with my loss and decided to adopt me. Very admirable, isn't it? Not so freaking nice, dude. As he was the savior of my life, my admiration for my father's benevolence grew day after day. Aww. Eventually, I decided to study medicine under his stead in hope of becoming a surgeon just like him. Just like he didn't give up on me, I became a surgeon who a surgeon who would try her best to save another person. I, I can't leave the school. If only my father were by my side, I think I would be able to hang on a little longer. It's getting difficult to do so. Aww. Poor freaking Kanata, she's so sweet. Ah, I can't save everyone from our predicament either. I am of no help for anyone. I'm sorry, I'm not worthy of. Be oh my God, you're freaking amazing, Kanata. I'm so sad she's dead now too. Like, think of all the people she could have helped if she got out of here too. Kanata, you're wrong. You're not of no help at all. You're like one of the most helpful people here. Huh? You can definitely become someone like your father someday. God forbid someone gets hurt again, but if something like that happens, you'd save others without giving up, right? Yeah. Kanata, you can be someone we can depend on. <laughs> Your considerate thoughts, they can heal us both physically and mentally. I know, she's so sweet, dude. As long as you continue trying, I am certain that you can become someone we can depend on when we get nervous. I feel like, yeah, just playing her FTEs or free time events is just going to make me, like, hate the killer even more. Just like who your father is to you. Sorry, was I out of line? Mr. Mida! Oh, may I call your attention? <laughs> huh? Why? I hope you think of me when you get nervous. Oh, she, oh, she got like a crush on me now. Yuki. <laughs> oh my god, that's the first time. Uh, <laughs> the first time she's said my name. Huh, what are you? <laughs> are, are these all gonna end with them flirting with me? Smiling coyly, Kanata said her goodbyes and ran away quickly. What did she mean by it just then? <laughs> what? Nevertheless, it's a relief that Kanata looks like she's feeling better than before. Oh, that's so freaking cute. Does <laughs> she like me now? Oh my god. I just want to hug her, dude. Uh, she deserves so much better. Left alone and awkward, I decided to move on. You know what I realize about myself is that, like, when it comes to Danganronpa, I'm in, like, total denial about, like, every single death that ever happens. Like, once I beat the game, I'm like, nah, Kaede didn't die. I'm like, Taka didn't die. Ishimondo is still a thing. Saimatsu is still a thing. Because <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, I think my least favorite ship, not that like I would judge anybody for shipping this. I just don't like it because it's depressing to me. But like the idea of like Maki and Saihara shipping, because it just reminds me of the fact that Kaido and Kaede are dead. And I'm like, no, I need to be in complete denial about this. <laughs> like I can't ship it because like, I know that everything's just going to be like depressing whenever I think about it. But yeah, with that being said, I'm in denial. Kanata's still alive. <laughs> um, Yuki, are you free? Um, what's up, Kanata? 
I wouldn't say like least favorite ship, but it's just a ship that like whenever I see people like shipping it, I'm just like, man, why do you hate yourselves? <laughs> like that's just so depressing. I can't think about it. Um, so could you please come to my room for a moment? Aw, she's so freaking cute. Huh, what the? Such an abrupt invitation to a room. Is there something she wants to share with me in secrecy? I could have never expected Kanata to say something like this. Oh wait, let me uh, make it a little slower again. Okay, maybe, maybe it was good being faster. Sometimes it's a lot slower than other times. Please come by, Yuki. Make sure to come alone and not bring anyone else along. It's a date. I will get it going and prepare the room before you visit me. <laughs> oh, she's so freaking cute. Kanata. Kanata ran towards her room with her cheeks flushing red. What's going on? What does she mean by preparing her room for me? <laughs> Please don't do what Kazuna did. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, you really decorated your room all over the place. You got those genocide or scissors all on your walls. <laughs> oh man, I know it's like if she pulls a Kazuna, I was like, um, no. I trust her. I trust her with my life. But if she did, that'd be crazy. Ah, uh, you, you are here, Yuki. <laughs> she is a pure soul. What's going on, Kanata? Why did you invite me to your room so suddenly? <laughs> oh man. Yuki, I would like you to. She's gonna be like super wholesome. I, 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 she has to be wholesome. Just like, Yuki, I want you to hold my hand. Please, Ooh, oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. Wait, maybe she's gonna do like a checkup or something. <laughs> Please take off your clothes and lie down on the bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. Maybe not as wholesome as I thought. <laughs> what? Oh God, I already went through this with Kazuna, dude. <laughs> my head was gone, has gone blank. Take, take off my clothes, she said, and lie on the bed. <laughs> Such bold commands from Kanata of all people made me so dumbfounded. Well, to be precise, it's more that I... Well, to be precise, it's more that I couldn't move. Yuki, your face is turning red. Are you feeling unwell? <laughs> Surely it is some kind of like weird checkup or something. No, 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 no. I am very well. Thank you very much. Anyone would get flustered when you're told to take off your clothes. <laughs> but why though? Eyes, that's so my apologies. I haven't told you why I called you into my room yet. You are a dear friend of mine, and certainly someone who wouldn't ever murder anyone. This is why I believed in you and asked you to visit my room alone. Really? Thanks, Kanata. In any case, I still can't figure out the correlation between what she has said and why, I'm, why I am being told to lie on the bed. Wait a second, this feels like a scenario in certain mangas. <laughs> I know what you've been reading, Yuki. Is something like that gonna happen to me? Oh wait, I go so fast sometimes. No, I shouldn't be expecting stupid things like that. Ugh, no, baka. <laughs> Yuki, the reason I called you here... Ooh, ah, Kanata's coming closer. Am I dreaming? This is getting dangerous. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> I kind of figured it might be something like that. Is it do a routine health checkup in my room? I really want to do this for you. Please lie down. Um, <laughs> a routine checkup? What the heck did I expect? I'm so ashamed. I've been reading too many mangas. How, how could I misinterpret Kanata's favor in that kind of way? I really am the worst. Yuki, why are you in despair? Oh, this is a fate worse than what Junka would probably do to me. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing, Kanata. Do I need to take off all my clothes, though? No, just take your top. Half off is fine. All right, then. I am in your capable hands. I lay down on the bed after taking off my clothes, one by one, and folding them nicely. I'm so sorry, Kanata, for misunderstanding your intention. You never meant something like that. Sorry. Anyways, the fact that I am lying on the bed, Kanata sleeps in every day, makes me quite nervous. I could smell an ever so slightly sweet scent, completely distinct from my bed. <laughs> Freaking pervert. <laughs> Why are you smelling my pillow so much, Yuki? <laughs> no reason. Kanata's eyes excitedly scanned my body as I lay still. She then used a stethoscope to listen to my chest, followed by... Now it's going too fast. Followed by pressing various parts of my body or something. She ended the checkup by measuring my blood pressure. I wonder where she got all the tools from. Probably in the infirmary, right? Hmm, 
Um, there isn't anything wrong with your body. I wish there were machines or instruments for more precise tests, though. But Yuki, it seems like you haven't exercised much. Your muscles aren't that developed. <laughs> I recommend you to find ways to exercise indoors from now on. <laughs> You're so weak and flabby, Yuki. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Furthermore, your body is stiff from excess stress. Please do light stresses to relax and alleviate your fatigue. Ah, uh, there isn't anything obviously wrong. My body is okay, I guess. This is getting a bit, um... Ah, sorry, I forgot to tell myself to stop. No, I don't need to say sorry. You did it because you cared about my health. What made you suddenly do a health checkup, though? She just cares about you, bro. Yuki, I was unable to revive our deceased classmates. I was unable to save those who were pressured to murder by their own burdens. I couldn't do anything for them despite being a surgeon. It's like, man, girl, don't blame yourself. I mean, it was Mitch's freaking idea to do what he did. Come on now. <laughs> Then you helped me come to a realization last time we talked that my thoughts alone can help. That my thoughts alone can help. Yeah, thoughts and prayers, baby. <laughs> Whenever somebody dies, just say a quick thoughts and prayers. <laughs> that fixes everything, Kanata. Which is why I want to devote myself to treating everyone who's still with me. That's why I started health checkups with the person I am closest to, you, Yuki. Because I am a surgeon, you see. Me? <laughs> Mitch did nothing wrong. <laughs> the one singular Mitch stand, always there to defend. <laughs> always there to defend your bae. I respect it, though. I respect the hustle. <laughs> I think I can help everyone with my knowledge. Oh, wait. I, don't know do. I think I can help everyone with my knowledge. If I can let everyone know how I feel about my patients, then maybe the murders will stop. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Perhaps by doing routine health checkups and counseling other classmates, emotional distress, and anxiety and fatigue, I could heal them from their burdens. That's my goal. So Yuki, do you feel better now? To be honest, it was a health checkup out of the left field. However, Kanata was resolved to do this for the sake of me and the others. Just say you feel better, dude. Make her smile. Her considerate thoughts are a relief. A relief from Monokuma's omnipresent despair. I feel like I can endure despair just a bit longer thanks to her. Thanks, Kanata. I feel much better. Kanata, you really are an angel. Aww. <laughs> You're embarrassing me, Yuki. <laughs> She's so freaking cute, dude. <laughs> All right, I will start to do routine checkups for everyone from today. If you don't mind. Could you please help me out a little, Yuki? She is so freaking sweet. She's just the purest cinnamon roll ever. There was no reason to say no. I promised Kanata that I'd help her whenever I can with a pinky promise. Kanata has managed to mature into an even better person here. Aww. Kanata of now, who has devoted herself in care of us all, shone before me like an angel. She is an angel, and now she's literally an angel. I have now d no doubt that she will become a doctor Equal to her father someday. Don't freaking say that, Yuki. Don't don't hurt me in this way. Come on now. I feel a deep bond with Kanata. I can sense that we became close from the bottom of our heart. Aw. Cuties! Freaking adorable. After saying our fa farewells, I exit the classroom. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, I think that's probably going to end the uh, stream for today. Well, guys. Oh, wait. Thank you. <laughs> I'll watch this later. I need to, I need to watch that. I keep getting it recommended to me. Oh, that was so freaking cute, though. I'm glad that uh, we got a wholesome uh, free time event <laughs> after Kazuna's uh, very, um, <laughs> very interesting one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know if I should do Kakarus. I just, um, I need to work on my V3 Mastermind video. Hopefully I'll get that up by like Saturday or something. That's my goal. I'm almost done with the script. I just kind of got to go through and like clean it up and finish the very last portion. I'm excited about it. I uh, was writing a lot of the scenarios like the past couple days and um, I don't know, they're they're pretty fun. They're pretty interesting. So I hope you guys will like it too. But um, yeah, I don't want to stress out my throat too much since there's a pretty good chance I'll need to record that tonight so I can get that up later this week. But yeah, uh, thanks guys so much for coming to the stream. We will continue this again at Sunday at 2 p.m. next week. And we'll be able to do the whole trial this time, too, since it's only three hours. <laughs> if it, even if it was four hours, I would do it anyways. You guys know me. <laughs> I have no patience. 
<laughs> but yeah, anyways, thanks guys for coming to the stream. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the series. I can't believe we reached a thousand concurrent viewers during the stream. That's crazy. And yeah, I appreciate all the uh, love and support you guys have shown me in the channel. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.